Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I, I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. Oh, oh. Oh, I, oh, I figured out your bitch grill. I had myself a good time. Figured out your bitch grill. I had myself a good time. Cause I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. No, bitch, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. I had myself a good time. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga Grady nice with the ad lib. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga Grady said, oh, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> It was hard as a motherfucker. What <laughs> up, 5150? Oh my God, I don't even know what to say about this show that's right here. Because I got shit I got to talk about just because. Uh, motherfucking, uh, it's all kind of shit going on. I couldn't respond like I really wanted to. Um, they had, um, shit going on with my social media. I mean, I still got a Facebook. I still got an Instagram, but they, they suspended that Twitter. And I want to talk about that because, um, I'm not finna be a hoe to no social media platform. I talk how I talk and I'm not going to switch it up. I'm not going to switch it up. I talk about faggots. I talk about motherfucker. I'm not. I'm not scared to say what the fuck I got to say. I talk about bare bill bitches who talk crazy about me. I ain't never gonna stop being this nigga who I really am. But it's a couple of things that happen on the internet I want to address. We can start. Let's start with Gary Owens. That's why I bought the drink, man. I was. You know <laughs> I, I listened to Gary just now. I didn't. I. I didn't. I didn't listen to it because I don't. I don't get spent real easy. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck about me? Nah, let me tell you something. Gary Owens, um, I, I ain't mad at Gary Owens. I, I ain't mad at Gary Owens, but shit happens that when you have a show and it's more than one act, you got to deal with shit that people bring. But, the headliner of the show, you know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes you got to leave with an iron fist. And I'm not really that nigga. I try to be cool and let people relax and do what they do. But because I don't leave with an iron fist, people take advantage of me. And that, like when I work with motherfuckers. Um, Gary Owens did a show with me at the Palladium. Hollywood? First time I heard of the Palladium is when Ice-T said it. In that song. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, okay, fuck it. I do a show at the Palladium. And, um, yeah, it's big time hmm. shit in, in, in LA. I was flattered to be working the Palladium, right. especially as the headliner. Right. That ain't no that, that ain't no minor accomplishment. No, hell no. That's where Pryor shot the, uh, what album was that? Live in Sunset on? Script. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the Palladium. Hell yeah. So I'm saying, uh, somebody said Darlene Mike off. I don't know how true that is. Oh, 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 ah. <laughs> um, but as far as it go with the show at the Palladium, what happened at the Palladium? Gary Owens went up and had. First of all, I I I I ain't never really had no beef with Gary Owens, and I still don't have no beef with Gary well, Owens. I, on that situation I said what I Gary. said. I was like, "Fuck Gary!" I snapped off. I probably shouldn't have did that. But it's it's finna get deep with what I want to say about okay, Gary Owens, ahead. and I hope he listens because it's something that I know he'll know what I'm talking about, and a lot of 
entertainers will know what I'm talking about. But bottom line, I'm headlining the Palladium. Next thing I know, without somebody getting at me, Gary got somebody going up on the show who wasn't booked on the show. And that ain't how you do the headliner. That's not how you do the headliner. Yeah, that ain't. That's bro. You know what I'm well, saying? Yeah. But Gary, whether he wants to admit it or not, you have white privilege when you work with us niggas. And I'm saying, like, this ain't no cop out. This real shit. When you work with us, they give you authority to do shit that the average nigga would not be able to do. So, if I'm headlining the show and it's somebody else going up, I need to know about this. I need to be aware of this. But you went and talked to somebody else and because you have white privilege, you were able to pull it. Gary Owens, look, check it out, man. I'm not mad at you, but I'm here to tell you, you might be one of the only ex- in the history of comedy, I would be scared to work with because you have white privilege over me, even if I'm the headliner. One day we did a DVD taping in Las Vegas. Gary Owens, you know about this. It was the DVD, that shit where I had on the black suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were supposed to do two shows in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. But it wound up being one show. They said, we're just going to do one show. I was like, oh, well, shit. Well, how we going to determine who go first? Them cold black motherfuckers who basically, you know, they niggas in this business who feel like white people should be given privilege over the nigga if the nigga is on the show. Cold black determined that Gary Owens was going to go up first. Fuck what Corey Holcomb going to do. We in Las Vegas. You know how much shit to do in Las Vegas? Nobody can keep their attention span long enough to sit through two comedy specials right. in Las Vegas, even though it paid off for me because this when, you know, Floyd Mayweather was there. It was a whole mm -hmm. bunch of people that had showed me a lot of love. You know what? I went up after mm -hmm. Gary's special. Right. Oh, wow. So he did a whole hour. He did his special first because the, the Sambo-ass cold black niggas, I put them on blast. They motherfucker was like, Gary going first. It ain't no motherfucking democracy. We want Gary to go first. Let the nigga go after Gary. Hmm. I've been living with that for years. Right. I've been saying, what the fuck? Now, if it was some niggas, they probably wouldn't have did it like that. Right. But I'm saying because this white boy who has had all kinds of opportunities in the black lane to blow up. I think he had a, didn't he have a, 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 a reality show on BET? All this shit. Right. It might seem like I'm hating. I'm not hating. I just know what it is when it's a white boy in the black lane. Jim Carrey is the biggest star from In Living Color. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Right. Is that wrong? Am I, am I exaggerating? No. no. Jim Carrey is the biggest star from In Living Color. You want me to tell you why? Because he was the white boy on the show. So when I work with Gary Owens, I have to worry about the white privilege he's able to pull even though he's not the headliner. Why is Gary Owens not the headliner? Because Corey Holcomb is really the motherfucking nigga he claim he is. Because they would love to put Gary Owens up in, uh, I go up before Gary Owens, but my accomplishments made it where even though Gary has had Hollywood movie campaigns, Gary Owens has had his own movies in Hollywood. Right. He's had shit where he had every opportunity to be a megastar. He's not a megastar. For whatever reason that is, it's not for me to say, but I am saying this. If I work with Gary Owens, I will be getting the secondhand treatment even if I'm the headliner. So all I'm saying is I'm not mad at you, Gary. I apologize for saying fuck Gary Owens because it ain't personal. I, I, I snapped off. I probably shouldn't have did that. But I am aware that when it's somebody white around, even if you are everything that you're supposed to be, the coon-ass niggas at BET, Cold Black, whoever, they automatically feel like, well, Gary, make sure Gary gets treated the way he needs to be treated. And the nigga 
get the scraps and the bones. So that's what I've been living with. And it's not your fault, Gary. It's not your fault. But I'm here to tell you, if I'm around you, it don't matter what's happening with the show. <laughs> the white boy going to get the propers he's supposed to get. And a nigga like me who finally got to the point where he can headline the palladium, it's an act thrown up before I go up without me knowing. Hmm. That's why I felt some kind of way about it. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel some kind of way about it now because after I heard what Gary said, I was reminded that really it's not Gary. Right. It's not Gary. It's <coughs> the coon ass production niggas who will put it. Let me tell you something. If we did a show, like let's say they had a TV show picked up. Right. Mm -hmm. And Gary was one of the cast members. Gary would be given priority over... Anybody else who on the show, unless they like, unless this motherfucker, like I'm just saying, they get, you got to be so mega a star, right. you know what I'm saying? But like, if we all came in together with a show, right, it'd be they'd try to make a Gary show because right. he white, right, right, right. That's really how it go in Hollywood. So my whole thing with Gary was, I don't like when motherfucker. You know, you should have came and said, "Hey, Corey, Corey." Like if you'd have came to me in the back room and been like, "Hey, Corey." I got my guy with me. Let me let him go up and bring me up, man, because I'm comfortable doing that. I ain't even tripping off that shit. It's the way it was done. You said on the tape you were scared to come back there because Aries got his ass whooped or whatever. You can't tell me you saw Zoe and you were scared of Zoe. Well, motherfuckers don't know, Gary ain't no little bitty motherfucker. Gary ain't no little bitty ass right. puny motherfucker. Right, yeah, right. Gary used to, that's right. Gary said it. He used to take me to the Y. <laughs> Right. In Burbank, when I ain't know nothing about the Y in Burbank, you know what I'm saying? And we used to hoop. Man, Gary ain't no little bitty pussy ass motherfucker. That's why motherfuckers don't do shit. Right. I was, let me tell you something. I've been on Gary Owens' side for a long time, but I am bold enough. I had the courage to admit, man, if I'm around Gary, man, I'm going to get played. Right. Because that's the natural order of things. White people, white people put, I mean, <laughs> Not white people. If people have a production, they're going to put Gary in the spot that's high. And even if you the headliner, right. they might motherfucker be like, hey, Gary, so you want somebody to go up? All right, we're not going to even get with Corey, the <laughs> motherfucking headliner of the show. Right. <laughs> the show didn't say uh, Corey Holcomb and Gary Owens. The show said Corey Holcomb and Gary Owens was on the show. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure. And it's Owen without the ass, but you're giving him the whole Jesse Owen thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm it's just like, like. No, but it is. Man, look. Y'all motherfuckers can try to make me out to be yeah, you said whatever you, you want it to be. But I ain't no motherfucking bad guy. I probably shouldn't have snapped off and been like, fuck Gary Owens. Because after watching him talk, I was humbled and reminded, Corey, there's some other shit that you really got a problem with. Mm -hmm. And it's the way it really go out here in Hollywood. That. Hollywood is okay. what it is. I remember uh, Al. Look, first of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> I became, I, I I was on Gary's side when this this comedian named Pierre went and told Gary wife some bullshit about Gary be fucking with women on the road. What? It made me look at Pierre differently. He Kobe Bryant him? He did the whole shit. This what? comedian named Pierre. Oh. And I know Pierre. And I was <laughs> like, it's just that shit happened. Even when I see Pierre, I'll be like. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because that was some whole ass shit. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not right, saying right, it's not. Right. But to go up to somebody's wife and say that shit, mm. I mean, come on, man. That's whole shit, man. That's whole mm. shit. That mm. motherfuckers fight over shit like that. Hell yeah. You what you Gary didn't fight him. He just made it where that nigga can't be in the building when he doing shows. And I'm all for that. <laughs> because that was some whole ass shit, Pierre. Yeah. Mm. You know it. But my animosity. There's some 90s shit that happened in the 90s? Yeah, my no, nah, this is some shit that happened when I moved out here in motherfucking LA. This shit probably was 04. But my whole thing is, I was cool with Gary until that night. Because Gary, no matter what, you had something to do with that shit. You rode with your white privilege. That's the thing we never say. White people ride with their white privilege still. Even though, I'm not saying Gary, some motherfucker who. Kick up dust and start shit. I'm not saying that. But Gary know I'm white. And I could pull this off. 
Right. Because the average motherfucker couldn't pull it off. Craig, if you was on the show with me, you think that you would have been able to put up one of your friends? Oh, Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Who else was on the show that night? I forget. Michael Blackson. You think Michael Blackson would have put up one of his friends? Mm. No, nah, Mike wouldn't have did it. Gary no. Owens did. Oh, which one? The first Palladium show? You're talking about yes. the more recent one. He said all oh, of... You was there? Yeah. He said... He said he didn't come to the back and talk because he saw all us back there and he had saw Aries get beat up. Aries, you ain't scared of Zoe. What no motherfucker? You know, you know I don't hang with no motherfucking <laughs> treacherous ass niggas who be ready to start shit if you yeah. walk back there. Come on, Gary. Come on, man. But regardless, uh-uh. I'm just saying it ain't no beef. No. Forget about it. What I said, hope you can... Forget about it because it's like, I ain't mad about the shit. But I will say this. If ever somehow you on a show with me because you was like, oh, Corey, I'm not on a show with you. Like, that don't fuck up my shit. I believe it don't fuck up your shit. You white. (laughs) You will always get opportunities in this business, Mm -hmm. especially fucking with nigga shit. Oh, you white? You around these niggers? Come on, we got you. You know what I'm saying? I know it ain't going to take nothing away from you. And I'm not saying I won't work with you. Especially after watching the video. Mm-hmm. Because really it's funny to me. But I'm just saying, you know what you did, man. You know what you did. You know, Gary. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. We good, though. I ain't tripping. I just, bet. if I work with Gary Owens, I know that, oh, shit, what's going to happen with this white power shit? Because this <laughs> show going to come. Why is Corey in front of you? <laughs> motherfucker, hard work, motherfucker. Yeah, you right. Thanks, we Mark used to Davis. do shows. Some promoters would be like, oh, Gary, we're going to put Gary here. But it was because you was white. Right. You ain't. Nigga, you know who I am on that motherfucking stage, nigga. <laughs> you funny. You funny, Gary. I ain't taking that away from you. Who the fuck is that, Gary? he's nice. Have you ever seen Gary Owens? What do you mean? Uh, yeah. He's not. He, he's, he's funny. Super nice guy, though, too. I agree. Whole family. Yeah. Really, I agree. Really, really nice. But, guy. nigga, I'm headlining the Palladium for a motherfucking reason, Gary, that we can get together and talk about that shit. Yeah. But you're right. It ain't nothing that's... I ain't mad at you, man. I, I apologize for coming off like fuck Gary. Maybe I shouldn't have did it like that. Yeah. No, Maybe that's, I, that's but I don't have your number also, Gary. When he said he had your... <laughs> he just te- he texted me, he he text me a few minutes ago. Oh, that's funny. He said oh, he Gary on? Yeah, he texted me. I don't, I don't have your number, Gary. I had your number at one time, but that was in them phones from when I first moved out here, my nigga. I, he I told just, me to uh, tell you that he liked that that cocaine Machiavelli hoodie you got on. Yeah, he ain't text them. That's, <laughs> That's a Craig fact. That's a Craig fact. Gary don't know that motherfucker is. Cocaine Machiavelli. Hell yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Yeah. I know I'm long winded on this shit, yeah. but I had to say it. No, yeah, no, I mean, it was good. You said it. And there's yeah. one more person I got to address. Go. This is a local nigga from Uh-oh. Chicago. Okay. Oh, shit. He local. You talking about Scotty Pippen? <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> a local comic from Chicago. Oh, oh okay. I don't want to say his name. I'm trying to, to figure out how to say it. He looked like Kazoo off the Flintstone. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Damn. But I'm trying not to say his name. Um,. <laughs> Um, um, Suburban Williams. Let's just call him sub- <laughs> Suburban Williams. Suburban Williams. This is a suburban nigga who yeah. claims shot down. Claim he from the motherfucking streets. We from Olympia Fields. <laughs> Olympia Fields for real, nigga. <laughs> this nigga is talking about he a shot down nigga and he got his money in the streets. Nigga, who the fuck you think you talking to? <clears throat> suburban Williams? <laughs> Motherfuckers know they saying his name on there. Yeah. Yeah, Shaman. It's a Shaman. That Sh- Shaman Williams. We'll put it like that. Yeah. Oh. This nigga, first Billy. of all, oh. this nigga did this video talk about uh, we all from Chicago. Damon, tell the truth. My niggas, represent your city where you from, my nigga. If you from motherfucker, hey, look, if you if, if you out of town somewhere and you blow up, you claiming L.A.? No, I'm from Pasadena. You from Pasadena? Yeah. yeah. You, a suburb of L.A. Right, right, yeah. right. Damon, will you start stop telling people you from motherfucking Shot Town, man? All you suburban ass niggas from from I'm glad y'all motherfuckers, you know, you 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 hung out in Shot Town, nigga, but you laid your head in the suburbs. Oh, but down the the road, safe burbs, but nigga. Real, though, too, the fuck out of here, nigga. It would make me feel some kind of way if somebody came from my hometown uh-huh. and they're claiming something. I'd be like, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait a right. second. You ain't like, no uh, Chicago uh, nigga. Uh, stop, nigga. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> oh, I, I'm from the streets. I, I was, nigga, get the oh, fuck out of here, nigga. Heart. You know, everybody yeah. from Chicago know yeah. what the fuck. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Hold That's on. Cute. I want to make sure I got this shit right because I took some notes from the shit he said on there. You, 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 a country club hill area ass nigga. And ain't nothing wrong with being from country club hill. Just like it ain't nothing wrong for Pasadena. It's some hard ass, hardcore ass niggas from Pasadena. Oh, Look yeah. at Craig. Wait, wait, no, you know who I love that does that? Dave Chappelle. He makes a whole shtick hey. about it. He does makes, he? He does a whole shtick about you know what? not being from the hood. He's like, and he makes a whole thing about it. Like, but man, LA is with- different. I don't know how Chicago demographics is, but. L.A. is a lot different. It's huge. You That's got a L.A. then you got L.A. County. That's what I was gonna say because Pasadena is considered L.A. County. In LA goes County. thirty-five it's miles, big. damn near to yes. Ontario Improv. Whatever make you feel better. But what I'm, I'm trying to say, <laughs> it's true. what I'm, I'm trying to say you, is nigga. this: it's motherfucking hood niggas in Country Club Hills, especially now that the city has mm. been expanded out. But Damon is. From there, back when we was little, Y'all so Damon, you come from a. I think Damon Williams. I said his name, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, you but fuck, fuck it, man. I said it. Well, I think shot off. I think his dad had some money or something. Hmm. Cause let me tell you something. We used to do these shows, and, and and the nigga father used to be at the shows, and the nigga was a motherfucker. Cause I watch niggas. Right. He was a he was the tall version of Damon. With long gray hair like Ooh. Raiden on the video game. <laughs> I'm not signifying. Right. I'm saying I used to watch this nigga. He don't never say shit. He just used to be at the shows, chilling, laughing, so and whatever. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think that nigga had money. Right. He looked like a nigga who had a way. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga used to dress sharp. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about David Father. I'm like... Why you can't just admit, nigga, your dad had some money or something, nigga? And that's how you motherfucking got on, Gucci D? Huh? (laughs) What? (laughs) Gucci D? He's stupid, you know. Only real Chi-Town niggas know what the fuck that is. I don't know nothing Only real niggas. It's niggas on here dying from Chicago. Damon used to try to rap. His name was (laughs) Gucci D. He had an album pressed before niggas was even having albums. Oh, he was hustling, his dad huh? looks like Vampire in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, his dad was sort of like, sort of like but I'm not, I'm not talking shit about no, Damon Dad. It ain't like yeah, that. Right. I'm saying he was a fly-ass nigga. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. For real, he was a fly-ass nigga, yeah. and he had money to be in the suburbs. And I believe that's what Damon got dust from. Maybe he put some money in the street third party. But right. nigga, you wasn't out there with them motherfucking niggas in the motherfucking street, nigga. <laughs> them niggas the motherfucking had your little ass in the trunk some motherfucking way. Mm. Nigga, you ain't no gangster. Stop it. But look, what I'm saying is, this nigga on here acting like we was friends. We were oh. never friends, nigga. You was a ho... <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do that. No, that's true. You was a different type of dude. I would never hang with you. The thing about me, I really used to hoop. So I was a confident nigga. I, ain't, right. I was around little goofy ass comedian motherfuckers. Right. I'm trying to get into this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm the motherfucker. All y'all niggas will try to 86 me off shows. He talk about he used to put me on shows. Nigga, you put me on shows. Who else you going to book? You didn't book me because you was my friend. You booked me because the promoters that was using you to get the comics was like, get that one nigga. Right. <laughs> you act like you was doing me a favor, Gucci D. Come on, man. Come on, man. What did he say? This in an interview? I'm not, I'm lost. You booked me. You booked me because I'm the real deal, nigga. And that ain't me bragging. You booked me because I was funny. It was it was a few comics can go up in rooms that were hostile. All right. right. And be able to perform in them rooms. And I was one of them niggas. Don't take away from me, nigga. You trying to take away from who I am, nigga. I really am this nigga. The nigga you hated. Comic View went through you. To get the comedians from Chicago. And it's no coincidence. Me and Jeff B. Wasn't on the motherfucking comic view list. Because they went through you. You didn't want motherfucking to see me shine. Damn I went through that. You went through that? Man I ain't gonna In St. Louis there's a comedian named McGriff. He took <laughs> he took the comics he didn't like off the video that got submitted. Oh, that's In St. Louis y'all gotta bag me up. Because I see McGriff. And y'all know this shit really happened. Mm. Well, in Chicago, Damon was the nigga that omitted the motherfuckers he didn't want on there Mm. because these was the motherfucking real niggas. 
Me and Jeff B, we always said what the fuck we wanted to say and never gave a fuck. And it wasn't no hating. It's just, motherfucker, you was intimidated by talent. Everywhere you go, it's a bitch at the hair shop who can't do hair real good, but it's her shop, so she get rid of the bitches <laughs> who cold with doing the hair. When is the that whole right. shit going <laughs> to stop, man? It silly. don't stop. It's called competition. People who are not up to the level of competition going to always find a way to mess with the real competition. He trying to act like I'm just some motherfucker who had beef with him. You didn't even admit the shit that set it off. The shit that set it off was... What? After all these years of taking Damon Williams shit, I allowed the nigga to open up at the motherfucking casino in Indiana when I did a show. He said it like, oh, we was all on the show, me, uh, uh, I forgot the comments he said. I think he said Gary Owens, whatever, we was all on the show. <coughs> you wasn't on the show, you was the radio nigga. <laughs> you was the nigga that go up before everybody. Because you, you're oh, right. you the, oh. you the local nigga. You're not the national headliner. You went up, you did your little time, and then you was selling your DVDs after the show, and you was talking shit about me after the show. And it was one of them things that made me say, fuck that nigga. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm that saying? Cool. Yeah, that's not cool. You, you act like you just one of the guys. You ain't one of the guys. You ain't worked with me since because I said to all the promoters in Chicago, even though Damon is on the radio, at that time he was on the radio. I don't know mm-hmm. if he's still on the radio. Right. Damon Williams cannot open for me no more. And I got the shit. Well, they suspended my Twitter, but they still got my DMs on here. I got the message where you saying, hey, man, why you stopping me from working, man, or whatever, whatever like that. I'm like, I'm not stopping you from working, motherfucker. You just can't open up for me because you got venom. He used to always walk around the hallways. You could see the shit. He was just jealous. One time, the little young nigga from Atlanta, what's the young boy? He, he funny. God damn. Country Wayne. Okay. Mm-hmm. Country Wayne did a show. He was on the show with Damon Williams. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I just happened to be outside. I was in Chicago, coincidentally. Damon, when the show was over, now this is Country Wayne's show. Damon called him back up on stage and was telling him some stupid shit. He was putting him on the spot. I was like, that's that whole shit he do to niggas. He can't do it to me no more. Hmm. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't have never did me like that because Damon, I mean, like, what could I say? Niggas run up on Damon. <laughs> on stage, I done seen about four, five niggas run up on Damon. And I, I'm not saying I'm Superman. I'm not Superman, but motherfucker don't run up on me. But you know Country Wayne was a little young boy. You know what I'm saying? So you motherfucking call him back up on stage like you was his daddy. If I'm lying, if I'm lying, it was a whole bunch of people at that show. Mm. I remember when you saw me standing outside when you came out. You know how comics all stand around each other? Yeah. That nigga saw me, it was like he saw a ghost because this was when the shit was happening. About that motherfucking show. Mm. It ain't like I'm trying to fight him, but nigga, I ain't got no smiles for you, nigga. Cause you that's a hater, terrible. nigga. You yeah, a that's hater, terrible. nigga. People just can't, you know what I'm saying? Go you on local. Their own. How come you just can't go and be you? You know what I'm talking mean? about? Right. We all in our fifties, nigga. I ain't fifty yet. No, I mean, it ain't nothing. I mean, <laughs> I'm finna years? be fifty. In what three? Years? Different strokes. <laughs> fuck them fifty nigga, year old niggas. We nigga. all fifty, yeah. nigga. Nigga, you fifty <laughs> something, nigga. <laughs> You was older than me, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, uh, nigga. Nigga, stop lying and stand on who you are, <laughs> nigga. You, you a suburban-ass nigga. You, you was in the suburbs before niggas started moving out there. You was out there back when <laughs> white people still live in country it. club here. They, they say own it. You know what I'm saying? They say own it. <laughs> man. Nothing wrong with that? Yeah. That's he got me. Man, look. I, I, I think he said something. Did we call him a joke thief? I didn't say you was no, a joke thief. Who said that? Nobody said that. Damon. Damon Williams is not a joke thief, but he should. Because oh. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. <laughs> that nigga said he should. <laughs> nigga, that little shit you do, nigga. Let me tell you something, Damon. I'm from motherfucking Robert Taylor Housing Authority. Everybody from Chicago know what that is. I headlined the Chicago Theater. I headlined the motherfucking Airy Crown. It's quite a feat for a nigga who come from nothing. You are never a headline the Airy Crown, nigga. What they say on motherfucking Five Heartbeats? You want my spot flash? <laughs> well, you ain't gonna get it. Because you ain't got it. Nigga, you an opener, nigga. You a host. They used to let Steve Harvey be the headliner of the motherfucking Kings of Comedy. They used to let... St- Steve Harvey was the headliner. 
Because at the time, he was having the most shit. He was the most famous motherfucker. Right. But he was bombing too many nights coming behind DL, Sid, and Bernie. Mm. They had to make him the host. Mm. But Steve Harvey found a way. Even though he wasn't talented, he still <laughs> found a way to become. That nigga got talent, man. I'm just saying, man. The nigga Steve. was bombing at night on that Kings of Comedy. I mean, nigga. yeah, that's different. But he got some talent. Because you know he saying? going after motherfuckers. You can't go yeah. after motherfuckers. Man, let me tell you yeah. something, man. DL? Then come Sid? Then come Bernie? Yeah, that's and treacherous. And then Steve? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. That shit ain't going to work. They made Steve the host. Stole so Steve can't get booed every night. How would Damon do if he followed them? What? Da- no, let me tell you something. Damon did oh, fuck really? with the Kings of Comedy. Oh, that's dope. He was one of the openers. Mm. Right. Oh, Old local, boy local Latham show. gave him $500. You got to get there. You got to put yourself up. Let me tell you how I know this. Because <laughs> on my mama, it was offered to me. Right. I was like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't finna have me on no tour for no five hundred dollars. Right. Five hundred dollars. When Damon was opening up for the Kings of Comedy. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Am I lying, Damon? Five hundred. You get there, you put yourself up. Get the fuck out of here. When I did the Kings of Comedy in Seattle, me and Bernie Mac wasn't even cool like no best friend niggas. But Bernie Mac knew me from the circuit. Right. And I went up there before them. No music, no nothing. They just opened the curtain and put me out there. Ripped that motherfucker. That nigga Bernie was like, hey, man, this nigga on, man. Woo, 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 woo. I never forgot it. It's my Bernie Mac moment. Right. Bernie was like, man, let this nigga open up the tour. Woo, 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 woo. But they, mm-hmm. dude ain't want to give me no cheese. So when I saw Damon doing that shit, I was like, <laughs> but look, nigga, how you open up for the Kings of Comedy and you still ain't make it? Let me tell you why. Because you's an opener, nigga. You are opening act. You got you to gotta have the courage to find Steve Harvey and say, Steve, sir, show me how you did it. Show me how you made it with no talent. <laughs> That's what you have to do, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, you all that shit you did to me, and I'm still giving you the game right now. <laughs> you need to find a talentless comedian who made it and ask him, what do you have to do to get it? Even though I can tell you, it's either kiss ass or fuck boys. Steve Harvey kissed ass. That's how he got it. Everybody thinks Steve Harvey some stand-up ass motherfucking man. No, motherfucker, he kissed ass. Old girl who owned TV One, he used to kiss her ass. That's how he had the radio show out here. And when he found out he was getting fired, he cried. Cried on air. Look it up. Look it up. (laughs) Look it up. Steve Harvey is in a position of relevance right now because he knows the motherfuckers to get up under. Damon, you can't act like you a real nigga. You got to start kissing the ass of fucking these niggas because you're not going to make it on talent. And you can get mad at me or whatever, but this is the real shit, my nigga. You're not going to make it off talent. You're not going to make it off talent. You're going to make it off finding a way to break through. The glass ceiling. You got bulletproof glass up there, motherfucker. You ain't got regular glass, nigga. That's carbide. Right. <laughs> you got carbon fiber that's clipped, nigga. You, you're not going to make it, homie. You're going to always talk shit about me. Be a little hater, nigga, to other motherfuckers who go up on stage and then act like the victim. On, oh, let me clear this Corey Holcomb beef, God damn it. I ain't no Corey Holcomb beef. I ain't got no beef with you. I saw you on the plane, nigga. Remember we was in... Detroit, I saw you get out the Uber. I was right there. I didn't say shit. I was laughing because you walked right past me. Mm. Then when we was on the plane, that nigga saw me. That nigga was like, I was like, (laughs) when I walked past that nigga. That was one of the flights where I was sitting in the back, Joe, because it was a last minute flight. (laughs) I didn't want to pop the buddy off for the first class ticket. The flight ain't but an hour. (laughs) You know what I'm talking about, Damon? And then I saw you that night at the Country Wayne show. I didn't know Country Wayne was going to be there. The homies was like, we finna go down to the Country Wayne show because we stand outside right. and talk shit. Now, uh. what? 
Talk about, I'm about to clear the beef for Corey Hogan. Nigga, it ain't no beef, nigga. You know I ain't motherfucking beefing with you, but I'm going to call you out from now on. That's the thing about me. A lot of you niggas, I be phony and I shut the fuck up around you. And a lot of people figured it out. But if you ever give me real ammunition, I'm going to spill the beans, nigga. All the gay niggas I done put on blast. Alex Thomas, all them niggas. I'm going to talk about you if you cross me. You should have never did my joke, Alex Thomas. You did my joke. Now I'm going to put it out there. Your asshole look like goldfish mouth. Magnified. I could keep going. I'm going to stop because I took up a lot of the show. No. I'm sorry, my niggas. Oh, it's all right. It's all I got right. love for y'all. It's but your I show, gotta, so you do I got to blast these niggas. Somebody said Gucci D album was hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, no, all not. I know is that nigga had a real album. Oh. Back yeah. when niggas ain't have shit like that. I was like, how this nigga got an album? He act like he got his money in the streets. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, oh. nigga. The streets. Nigga, you know how hard it is to get money in the streets and you ain't yeah. plugged? Nigga, nigga you ain't motherfucking out there with them motherfucking niggas in the street. Yeah, you the guy robbed, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Somebody tough. say I just came from Aspen. No, I just wanted to find a way to show off my little right. Louis Vuitton goggles. Uh -huh. Wait, yeah. somebody said you look like Ice-T in 88. No, I don't look like no, Ice-T. Because, you know, when he wore his, they were Porsche Carreras back then. Because in the 80s, that's what was big. That was Glasses big? Like Porsche that, Carreras? Yeah, like that with that. But it looked like <laughs> that was funny with the chain, too. So that's crazy how shit cycle, man. Yeah, right? You man, look, what you do, man, it's going to always come back around on you, man. One thing I could say about this shit, I'm not talking from an insecure standpoint. Nigga, I was better than you. Right. I was better than you, man. When I played basketball, man, it was this nigga, man. This nigga was so raw. His name was Alonzo Verge. This nigga was better than everybody. He didn't go to the NBA because he was a straight nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. uh -huh. He didn't. He, he wasn't focused on that shit. But right. talently, this motherfucker was amazing. I used to be like in practice, like that. This motherfucker good. Yeah. Mm. I ain't scared to give motherfucker his props. You got to give people their props. If sure. you if you find a nigga who motherfucking can motherfucking um, I put it like this. It, I, I D Ray. It's my nigga. It's my nigga D Ray. Right. Everybody who know D-Ray, know D-Ray have hoes like, with him. Like a motherfucker. Hoes with him. Yeah, hell yeah. I say hoes. That ain't me dissing nobody. Yeah, that's just me talking that. right. from a street standpoint. Yeah, that's what we right. call bitches. We call them hoes. If you want to be like that, ask D-Ray, hey, D-Ray, how do I get to have hoes with me like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm just saying. It's like, ask the nigga. Ask the nigga. Don't be insecure. Ask me, Damon, if you need help. I ain't gonna lie. I can't help you. You ain't got it. That's the truth, dog. You go out there, do your little five, ten minutes before the real niggas go up and let the big boys get down and shit. You just like, this is just like that movie 300. I believe you're gonna show people the back way to get me now. That back passage <laughs> on 300 because you, you the little Herman and shit. What's that motherfucker? Uh... Uh, uh, the motherfucking hunchback man. He was yeah. like, "This is my sword and shield. I will kill many persons." You that nigga. Mm -mm. So now Damon finna go to motherfucking the other side and <laughs> show him the back passage how to get me. <laughs> That's crazy. That shit just keep happening over and over. I heard it was some young niggas in Chicago and they was taking Damon's side because they don't know me. They don't know me, but like, yeah. every time people get around me, they find out I'm not the bad guy. When you start speaking on this shit, because I be go, I, I, I be confronting niggas like I, I go to them. But you big, Craig. But it don't ever work out because niggas always deny. But you dog walking. They scared of you. And I don't even be wanting to fight. I don't want to <laughs> fight nobody. Nah, but see, Craig, you, can't, you ain't finna get no motherfucker to talk. Let me tell you something. Craig ain't no little motherfucker. I don't know if you know how big Craig is. <laughs> Craig, motherfucking, is really a problem. I'm talking about like, if me Craig. and Craig got into it, to it I ain't hitting him with this end. I'm hitting him with this end. I'm trying to fuck him up to get him off me. I'm just saying, Craig ain't a little motherfucker. So if you come talk to a motherfucker, do you think a motherfucker is finna stand on it? No. Only motherfucker gonna stand on it is a man. Right. That's true. And it ain't a lot of motherfuckers who men. Right. They not gonna... 
you you're not gonna get a motherfucker to say what they said when you wasn't around. Right. They're gonna say what has to be said to calm you down. Right. Yep. That was a rhyme. That was fly. And I don't even be mad, but it's just crazy when you participate in artistic endeavors, you get what you put into it. So you just gotta put the work in. Some motherfuckers is just blessed and talented and you'll never be able to compete. But you you're not supposed to compete, you're just supposed to do what you do and whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. You think Craig big? It's this nigga be with Craig, make Craig look little. Oh, yeah, Jada. He was supposed to come today, too. Yeah. Man, when I first saw Jada, I was like, who the <laughs> fuck is this motherfucker? Because hey, he don't look real. No, put, <laughs> that nigga put butter in his water. That's a big calorie. Right. <laughs> yeah. This nigga don't even look real. <laughs> this nigga don't look real, D. You hey. ever seen him? No. This know. nigga don't look real. <laughs> That's how big he is. You mean, what the fuck is this nigga? Hey, you know that nigga. How tall is he? He about 6'3", but he weigh about 3'30". Is he only 6'3"? Six, three? Six, he three. taller than you? Yeah, I'm 6'2", but he but he 3'30", and he, you know. Oh, he's old. It ain't that 3'30 flabby. No, yeah, he's big. You get what I'm saying? WWF looking nigga. Right. That hmm. nigga head so big, this is real shit, he can't fit hats. He, oh he, they don't have God. his hat size in the store. They don't have he no hat No, size. that nigga was like oh a 12. God. Right. I, I, I was about to say, <laughs> I wear an 8. Right. I wear an eight. Yeah, I'm a Why he big? Oh yeah, this is twice as big as this. This nigga need a motherfucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that nigga need a stretch pen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that nigga uh. got. Yeah. But I'm just saying, no, ain't no motherfucker gonna keep it real. Would you gonna get all these little niggas like Damon? I call they little niggas, mm -hmm. right? Not threats, but unless look, they got they got damn it on them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And they don't motherfucking. But I know some little niggas that motherfucking bring it to any motherfucker. Oh, my oh, dad. Yeah. Yeah. And all his brothers is little niggas, and I don't want no parts of that. Nah, one of them niggas. They Because they're crazy. There's a difference. You can be big, all that, but when they yeah. have that heart, yeah. so I have people like that. My uncle, my dad, people yeah. like that. Motherfuckers, little, but, motherfuckers mm. about five, eight. Man, don't but you don't part. want it. Don't want no parts no. of it. You know what I want to talk about since we bring some since, since we bringing up this insecure shit. What a lot of motherfuckers don't understand is everybody. Jar feel Jarvis Anderson said you'll get dog walked, nigga. Oh man, <laughs> I, I don't know Jarvis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, everybody feels insecurity at some point about something. But what make you a real nigga is how you deal with it. Right. And motherfuckers got to be real enough to admit, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, somebody have a little bit more paper, then you might make you feel a certain way. Right. Yeah. The motherfucker may get a, a bitch that you want. You can't get her. Admit for a moment you was being a whole ass nigga. Or a nigga with a horse dick fucking your bitch right. or something. Oh you got to be like, well, you know, you got a horse dick, nigga. <laughs> Straight out. <laughs> but be accountable, nigga. If you're going to do some bitch shit. That's true. No, that is. Be accountable. That's, it. That's what being a man is about. It's about being accountable. Oh, you heard that, Damon. Be Oh, accountable tell the truth my you nigga know. stop acting like we on the same level we ain't never been on the same level that's why you ain't like me nigga that's why a lot of niggas from chicago i was a motherfucker i was funny when i was a a little new comic right. but i would nobody would take me on the road and i didn't get it right. then i found out them niggas don't want no funny nigga with them right i'm like oh that's what it is <laughs> I didn't even know, nigga. I didn't even think like that because I was, I was new to it. There's not a lot of love out there. See, it's just, it takes a special person to just be like, you know what? Let me cultivate. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me take this fool under my wings. Man. This game, of, it, the game is a yeah. mind fuck. I've been doing comedy it's sad that nine years. Like that. Yeah. And that ain't no time compared to, you know, niggas like Corey. Somebody but, say the chip tooth years of Corey Hogan. Yeah, That's yeah. right. That's right, my nigga. That's when I was the dunk creator. That was yeah. my nickname, the dunk creator. Had a motherfucking uh, eighty inch vertical, nigga. <laughs> back in the day. So that was the first nigga. Who was the first big nigga to hate on you? When well, you was like, God damn, that nigga. Wow. You mean a big nigga? No, like like yeah, like, like, like known. Famous like known. Like, I say that was oh. bigger than you at the time. You was like, I can't believe. This. Ralph Harris. Really? And I. It ain't no beef. It ain't no beef. But me and Ralph Harris had a deal at um, um, HBO or something like that, or ABC or something like that. And before I know it, Ralph Harris had went behind my back and was telling them uh, what he want to do for the show. But it was supposed to be our show. And I was like, "Wow, this motherfucker, he got me." Oh, he did. Even though the show know. never made it to the air, don't right. matter. When but you I was out. like, "Damn, he he went and set it up like I was just the little sidekick nigga." You know what I'm saying? Right. But right. it ain't no, it ain't no beef. I'm not mad at Ralph Harris for doing that. That's what. That's some shit that showed me the game when I moved out here. Showed like, you that, oh. and you won't work with So him. that's how yeah, niggas yeah. do when right. you motherfucking get on. You know what mm. I'm saying? But yeah, shit, but you man. don't want to be like that. 
I'm mm-hmm. not, I can't I be like that. Not. I ain't right, built like right, that. Right. But I'll call you on your shit. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Niggas don't compartmentalize shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you got to make them know sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. if I got a problem with you, that don't mean I want to whoop your ass or I want to want to do bodily harm. That just means I don't like what you did. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep repeating the actions, then it may yeah. it may escalate. Right. But, you know, right. I can move on and get to the paper. Don't nigga. nobody really know what it is except the niggas who grew up around us. The niggas who was in that motherfucking group, me, um, Dion Cole, um, uh, B. Cole, I said something about B. Cole one day when I was mad, but it was all about shit that happened when we was young niggas coming up in the game and that competition made motherfuckers act a certain way. Right. But I ain't got nothing against B. Cole and I apologize for me snapping on B. Cole on the air. It was just that shit from back when we was young. Right. But I'm not around B. Cole now and we don't have no problems and shit. Hey, B. Cole, the nigga who recorded that shit, it was like B. Cole reaction to what Corey Holcomb said about that shit. Yeah. I was like, that's some whole ass shit. <laughs> he let you walk in on that shit. Whoever that nigga was, that was some whole ass shit, B. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was bogus for saying the shit because it was, you know how shit used to be. Remember that time we was going to fight outside that comedy club and you ain't come outside? Somebody said he's a whoa. I'm fucking with you. Whoa. No, me and B. Cole, we cool, no, man. That was some young boy shit. Yeah. That's silly. I ain't got nothing against B. Cole. I ain't got nothing against really no nigga out here except for that one motherfucker who sent some niggas at me. Puts that nigga from St. Louis, G String. That's the only motherfucker who really mm-hmm. can't say nothing to me. Don't mm-hmm. say shit to me, nigga. Mm-hmm. It'll go bad. Yeah. Man. Don't say shit to me. Just keep walking, my nigga. Keep walking, nigga. It, it, it's all good. But mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, on this comedy beef shit, nigga, I ain't got time for yeah, no beef, nigga. Yeah. I'm trying to get it. Speaking of motherfucker, speaking, speaking of beefs, <laughs> I'm just saying, no, uh, my Twitter has been suspended again. Yeah. For how long? I don't know how long they going to make me not be able to use the Twitter, but I do want to say this, man. I don't think I'm going to use the regular social media platforms and platforms like I used to because I get paid to act like this. This is my job. People pay me. People must like what I do. I was in Jacksonville, Florida. It was a rainy, cold weekend, and the people of Jacksonville came out to see me, and I love y'all for it. I love y'all for it. And this, I'm just using that as an example. Yeah. Whatever I'm doing is working. So how the fuck is Twitter going to tell me that I can't say what the fuck I want to say? What did you say? Well, I, you well, know. you never know with them, see, because they could just go ahead and they don't tell you specifics, but they just cut you off. They I just- talk about racist white cops, all that shit. But the shit that I think they suspended my account for was I said something about a little bear built bitch that said something about me. You know, I go in on the little bear built bitches. Yeah. And um, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> if you say something about me, I'm going to say something about you because I don't know the bitch. Right. And um, the bitch said something to me, and I cracked a joke about her where I said she built like a U-Haul truck, and it's the truth. <laughs> um, she built like a U-Haul truck. She <laughs> always take her pictures up close where you see the neck up. Here go the hole right here. This is what the bitch put on my motherfucking Twitter. This is great. Not only do I fear no man, I came to his Twitter to see what people were posting under his tweets about me and find out he's suspended. Damn, that's comedic. Bitch, you motherfucker reported the shit to the mother. You came back to check and see that something happened about you reporting what I said about you, but it... Even Twitter, Twitter didn't say it was a retweet. It was a retweet. She said something about me. Right. But Twitter didn't have nothing about that. And I'm not the type of motherfucker who finna go, no, look what she said. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers fucking with this account because I'm signifying on a bitch that said something about me? <laughs> oh, well, I don't need this Twitter. Right. I don't need a Twitter. I can't do nothing with no Twitter. I can't have no motherfucking shit where I'm putting time and effort into the shit and you snatch it because I said something about the bitch. I didn't threaten the bitch or nothing. Right. What's this whole name? Yeah, but um, you can also you can also do a, a like a blog every day or weekly on your own website. No, no, no. So. This is what's amazing. Okay. This is what's amazing. Let me tell you something, man. Every time some motherfucking bullshit come my way, some good shit come right after it. I am getting ready to start my own network that's like Twitter, like Instagram, like Facebook, where people who have something to say can say it 
without worried about getting suspended. Mm. If you want to talk about a faggot, you could talk about a faggot. Oh, God. If you want to talk about <laughs> whatever, you want to talk about whatever, you can say it. Only thing you can't do is threaten somebody. That's, a, that's, that's what's going to be Thank my you, guidelines man. on my network. You just can't threaten nobody because, you know, when we start threatening people, that shit make it go bad fast. Hell yeah. Nobody can threaten nobody. If you threaten somebody, then we might be like, hey, man, we, we can't have you on here threatening people. But I'm getting ready to start my own network from this iStar. This guy, he, has, he came to me. He has created some amazing shit. You know, this shit is basically going to be Netflix, Corey Holcomb style. Mm -hmm. Right. I can put a movie on there. There's four hours if I want to. You can't even do that on YouTube. Hell right, no. right. YouTube finna be the old shit, homie. I'm just letting you know. So I want to say to the little funky ass, little frog fat bitch, she on my Twitter boasting how she feel good about the shit got shut down. Bitch, be down. You got it. You called in. You reported. Then you came back fake talking about, oh, this is great. Not only do I not fear no man, I came to see his Twitter and it shut down. Bitch, you, you sent in that shit. Why are you acting like <laughs> niggas is so phony? Yeah. Like a bitch motherfucker steal your motherfucking wallet, then help you look for it. Oh yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't know. This yeah. fake, you don't see it? <laughs> Come on, let's look for it. You <laughs> fake ass and bitch. You the only one there, yeah. She on um, my Twitter right here boasting the shit. I ain't gonna um, say her name because then no, she might her, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. She but she a little that. frog looking bitch. You look like a frog, bitch. That's what hurt your feelings. The way I, Thank my Johnson. tweet about you looking like a frog hurt you. So you went to them people and you told them people. But if somebody could tell them people on me, if it's a teacher at my age who can put me in the corner, right. I ain't That's never that, coming that, to yeah. class no more. Fuck Twitter, fuck Facebook, fuck Instagram. Mm -hmm. We finna start some shit where niggas gonna be able to say what the fuck they can say. Hell Dexter yeah. said Corey needs a hug. I do need a hug. <laughs> Tell oh, your bitch to come give me one, bitch. Fucking frog, bro. <laughs> right. This bitch look just like a frog. And I know that's what hurt her. Man. Bitch talking about, oh, I just came on here to see what people were saying. I see he got blocked or whatever. Bitch, you oh, motherfucker. Yeah. You would have told them people, Twitter you trick fan. ass. Damn, Damn, Rick. I'm finna say this bitch name. <laughs> no, she's gonna nah. love that. That would just build her up. No. I and want everybody to see how this fuck. If you go on my Twitter, they you will see know. this tweet. Somebody oh, frog talk. looking bitch. They Some, already know. You can see that when you go on and it's like the bitch last Bitch acting week. like you motherfucking just, oh, he just happened to get blocked. <laughs> it's some fake ass bitches on here. Just like the bitch who had my brother on child support, but act like, they, they did what? They sent letters <laughs> to the house. Oh, my oh, goodness. 80 from oh. King Zulu. Wow, thanks, King Zulu. Whoa. What'd he do? Right. He, he gave, gave $80. That's all what's them, up. All, all them you can probably fuck, fuck the frog bitch. This is what's up, man. When I launch this network, man, I need y'all to subscribe now to subscribe is going to be two dollars a month that's 24 dollars a year i need it i need it to i'm trying to really do some this is the first thing i'm going to be passionate about i want to start from grassroots ground level with this network and build it up i want people like gooch the great uh motherfuckers on here who say shit like you know it might be a little Shocking sometimes, right? But you shouldn't be able to not say what Thank the fuck you, you want to say, long as you ain't threatening nobody. I agree. I definitely agree. You got man, I can't have no motherfucking social media. I remember the shit where the police had killed Sandra Bland and took her motherfucking mug shot where they had pulled her eyes up, mm. right. and people was putting that shit on there. And Facebook was taking it down, fucking with motherfuckers' accounts. Mm. Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, don't want you telling the truth because it's ran by faggots. I said it. Fuck you. Come at me. Now what? Well, I wish I would put some more effort. Oh, if you want to motherfucking do this with your Twitter, you got to, uh, what is it, appeal this and all this shit. Nigga, fuck it, man. Y'all got it. You got it. This is the third time y'all done fuck with that Twitter. Fuck that Twitter. All because of a bare-built bitch who feelings got hurt trying to say something slick about me. I'm never going to stop talking about you bitches who talk crazy to me. And all the motherfucking women on Twitter who follow me can attest to the shit I'm saying. Them bitches said something to me. I don't know them bitches. Them bitches get, be mad because I say something. I remember I said something about this Nigerian girl. I said she looked like Ludacris um, or some shit like that. And all them bare-built bitches. Didn't, 
they came at me on my Twitter, and I'm just tearing them down because I can signify. Right. Man, them motherfuckers, man, them motherfuckers Twitter get mad because I'm tearing down the bitches and, and grab my shit. Fuck you, Twitter. Yeah, well, while Trump is out there saying all kind of shit, and they, and they don't remove him at all. They'll never do that. Trump rape hoes. And he the president. Yeah. The fuck is that? Yeah. You can rape hoes, but not talk about them. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. backwards as a motherfucker. Yeah. Lawrence Williams, thank you for the twenty four dollars. Yeah. First gen Tucker, thanks for that little nine wow. ninety nine, my nick. Hell yeah, man. I wonder what Damon gonna do next time he run into you. He ain't gonna do shit, but motherfucker walk up to me and try to squash the shit. And I'ma squash it with him because I don't give a fuck, nigga. You yeah, ain't but, shit. But yeah. I'ma tell him you ain't shit. Hell yeah. You ain't never he been shit. Did. You always talk shit about me. It's just I'm talking shit back now. Hmm. Your hair was gone when you was a young nigga, dog. You ain't <laughs> never had a brush. You had a brush. After age 15, God, I can yeah, tell, candy. nigga, your brush yeah, was. That nigga was. Yeah. Right, candy niggas. Brush was a scalp <laughs> ass nigga. <Right. laughs> you so parade for missing hair. That's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, James. God, beef will never go away. They call it the Snap Act app. Fuck you, nigga. Snap. James Earl Moans. Thanks, man. Man. Bring back my space. <laughs> I know I motherfucker went off, but I had to get that shit off because I ain't got no Twitter to talk shit. Good, no and we don't yeah, want yeah. you but hurting anybody out there on the road. It's nah, good to get yeah, stuff nah. out. You know, we, we was at the club. I order you a gallon of cranberry juice right now, nigga, and shake you to see if you... <laughs> <laughs> What's the cranberry juice do? It, it, it'll stain the outfit, nigga. Oh, that. I, see, uh, <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> you know, I got on my Mr. Rourke outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, Mac and Valley like a pop. You need to grow one of them Dallas shags. What, what you talking about? Just right here? Yeah, them niggas in oh, Dallas oh, with oh, their shags oh, going yeah, yeah. from the back and shit. The furry they look weird and oh, shit. Yeah. The furry yarmulke with the right. ponytail on it. These it, niggas don't want motherfucking big beards. They want big shags. Yeah, hey, that shit goofy as motherfucker. Damn, Calvin just broke a hundred. Who is Calvin? Calvin Francis. Oh, oh and my God. Stolen credit card paper. You know, right. <laughs> that, you know what? I'm Appreciate you, man. The game. That was so funny. <laughs> hey, y'all heard? Yeah. Of, I, I might be late. I heard about you. Heard about that late? Them, them, that that lesbian couple in Washington that adopted six black kids and killed them all. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was that was a year and a half. ago. That was a year yeah, and a half ago. Said, yeah, they, they did. Did they? Did they? Was that a murder or did they? They they concluded that it was yeah that they they don't have enough evidence but the truck did go over that side and they don't see that anything was wrong. Brandon Rose. Yeah, oh, wow. I just heard about that shit. Yeah, today. that was that was a minute ago. Mm. Oh wow! Somebody say don't hate on the Dallas TX swag, nigga. That shit look goofy as hell, nigga. Y'all, but how y'all gonna have a motherfucker shag built like a diamond? It's a, little cool, a, little <laughs> a diamond pillow. shag. Yeah. You see a built-in yeah. pillow, D? <laughs> <laughs> Some sleepy A high shag, nigga. <laughs> Start where the ears. Begin, nigga. <laughs> That's funny, the motherfucker. You didn't have a shag in the '80s with the with the Hawaiian silk in it on the Peebo Bryson yeah, side yeah, of the game. Hell yeah, the kick. I can show you the world. <laughs> Kickboxing, hip hop cut, man. Somebody say Corey looked like a skydiving instructor. They hmm. said Craig earlier when you were talking about Craig, how he was built and everything and working out. Somebody, I just couldn't stop laughing. Somebody said, uh, "Craig is a yeti." A Yeti. What is a Yeti? Oh, that's yeah. that, that polar yeah, that's bear the, looking thing. Yeah, that's the thing that looks like Fuck a Sasquatch. Fuck you, nigga. Like Punk ass smoke, fuck. Everybody think they can whoop me. Oh, I'll get a chat room and talk about beating yeah. the dog. I'm a, somebody you be talking about dog walking, nigga. Yeah, I just be yeah. having fun, though. I don't want to fight nobody, man. I, it's all love. Uh, Craig's a good dick, dog. I know. I Craig, dog. I don't give a fuck how strong Craig is. Once I get that neck, nigga, I ain't let go, nigga. No, I got it. Yeah, nah, Slam nah. me against the wall. That don't hurt, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I got you. Are you going to UFC him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get Corey crazy. Out. I ain't going to fight Corey. Uh, get him now while he's... Look, get him now while he's warm. I ain't but. fighting what's his name, though. Oh, Jade. I ain't nah. fighting Jade. Hell no. Nah. Me and Jade got to talk about it. I'm going to be like, hey, man, God is watching us. <laughs> we'll have to get him while he's walking away with that. <laughs> that nigga big as a motherfucker. <laughs> When last time you got no, the last time I got in a fight was two thousand and thirteen. Hell yeah! I'd say about two thousand fifteen. That twenty-four fifty. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker <laughs> nigga was cheating, and I just got mad. I was like, "Pussy ass nigga!" Fired on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to take my membership because I still swung. Oh, man. Thanks, Marquis X. No, he was a big nigga too, though, but I could mm. tell he couldn't fight. He just old bullshit-ass nigga. I'm like, old bullshit-ass nigga. Hell yeah, I got, I got jumped. 
You got jumped by some Did niggas? You? Hell yeah. I was bouncing at this bar and I had to kick this nigga out. And uh and when got I got you on the way when I got him to the back door, like when I kicked him out, he acted like he was gonna walk out and he turned around and fired ooh, on me. Bow ooh. and I kinda like See? stumbled back a little bit and then two other niggas hit me in the back of the head and they uh -oh. started running. And I, you know, I don't want to follow them because you know that's true. You, never know. you, you don't follow a nigga when they start running. That's yeah. a setup. Yeah. So I stayed. I was in the back alley, and it was a nigga watching. But he was kind of. I, I couldn't tell if he was with him or not. He was against the wall watching. So I was like, I gotta get somebody, my nigga. So I kind of tiptoed over to him and just slept him. Bow. What the guy that was just? Watching <laughs> I don't even know if he had anything to do with it. But God, I was so Jesus. mad. Drunk hobo. He <laughs> ain't <tell> <laughs> yeah. I knocked the bum out, nigga. <laughs> Oh, you done hit the homeless guy. I knocked him out. Somebody got to get it. <laughs> I don't so he feel it. You can't be sitting around watching me get knocked out, oh, nigga. God, yeah, I was so mad, nigga. God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if if you watch it, man, I apologize, but you was in the wrong area, nigga. He's a great guy, Gorilla Wong. Hey, that'd be the worst when you can't get no get back. You ever had something happen and you can't get no get back like they won? You got to do something, nigga. You you just, oh, you want to just get your fresh I got Mr. Sad. T when Rocky whooped his ass that first round. Let me go. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I got ah! that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poor man. That poor man. Who was that yeah. gay 101? Somebody gave 101, nigga. Who was well, that? We got that's the most you ever. Maybe during the break, we can get all the names. That would be great. Thank he you. He said, I got dog. Well, yeah, I, I think I would consider that getting dog walk. Man, you're going to take a hell out here one day, man. Ain't that nobody, ain't, uh, ain't no undefeated niggas in these streets. I don't care. My thing was, look, if I get, if, if I'm fight, in a fight, if I have Tony Goins, good looking. I'd rather just go out like that. Like, yeah. at least I could say, God. Damn, she was tough. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I'll go for it. Like, Hell just, yeah. They'll say, okay. I ain't gonna lie, man. I be having, I just seen a nigga get knocked out and them niggas was stomping him while he was out. Yeah, I was that's... like, y'all bogus for that. That's, yeah, that's saying, fucked up. Like, I don't like that shit, No, I don't man. either. But I'm saying if they're gonna come at me, I'd rather just go for broke. Yeah, you know that's saying? fucked just, up when they be yeah. knocking a nigga out and waking him back up and knocking him out and waking him back up. But they'll say, damn, she went out like Gene a Gene Kelly. Man. You know? That's what it is. Gene Ooh, Kelly Gene with the 101. The price is right. Good looking out, brother. That's big, brother. We appreciate all y'all motherfuckers from the dollars to the motherfucking hundred dollar holler. Hell That's yeah. That's right. It's a beautiful thing, man. Don't name yeah. it. <laughs> Stupid. Shit, Six thousand in the chat room. How the fuck that nigga know that? Oh. <laughs> what you mean? Like, let me see. Oh, passcode ass still in yeah. there. Hell yeah. <laughs> he sound about right. Yeah, there's 6,200 people watching. Oh, 6,000. Watching 6, in the chat, yeah. Oh, God damn, up. nigga. That's what's up. Tell Dude. that whole ass nigga Damon motherfucker. Tell the tell the truth, nigga. You know you ain't no national headliner, nigga. Acting like you on the show like anybody else. You the opener, nigga. Go out there and do your shit and Thanks, get the Don fuck Charles. off and bring up the real comics. That's <laughs> wild as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm gonna you don't talk need to be opening when you be doing this shit, motherfucking long as we have, nigga. We all start together. Me, you, and Dion Cole start together. That nigga, nigga been in the D League thirty years. Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you been in the D Comedy League. Yeah, hey, that's shit wow. Dion on black is you getting money, nigga. I'm out here hustling. I mean, I ain't bragging on who I am, but nigga, you ain't on shit, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Did, did, did. <laughs> what is that? I know where that came from. I want to hear the music. What music? You talking about Gucci D? Gucci D, that was his name back in the day, man. Dirty Gucci. like Hoochie P. Gucci D. Gucci Probably because he could afford Gucci back in the day because his dad was a motherfucker. Looked like a, 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 a player ass nigga. Oh, man. If you saw David Dad, you would be rolling. He looked just like him with the hair like Raiden. <laughs> and that ain't me talking shit Cause I don't I don't know Damon Father like that We just right. know him from seeing him at the show and shit You know he used to come to the shows and shit But yeah. nigga Damon oh, Father sorry. Had that motherfucker He had that He needed some theme music behind him Right 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 Check him out <laughs> Oh Nicky Barnes ass nigga Right Hell yeah. yeah That nigga walk in I love my brother. <laughs> oh, it was Lenny. What? That yeah. nigga was Man, David yeah. Bobby used to be at the shows fly to the motherfucker. Yeah. He sit back just like this while the show going on. Lenny yeah. Oh, oh some red devils and true and all. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> man, the <laughs> red devils. <laughs> David Bobby, <laughs> a player from the, 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 the Himalayas, the nigga. The yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Real <laughs> shit. Everybody know David Dad was motherfucking. 
You be at all as soon as you see him. You be like, what the fuck? You want a signifier because right. nigga got the rate in hair. That nigga got a blade in his pocket. That nigga right. That nigga fight like motherfucker. Like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Get it yeah, always, yeah, you know, yeah. Hell yeah, Jack. Somebody say I got on a baggy straight jacket. Fuck y'all, <laughs> nigga. Hell yeah. Corey's man. drunk master flex. Anyway. You want to take a break and then come back for, um. I don't know. Let's start, go on here and get this bullshit short. over with. You want to do your shit after the break? Yeah, you know, we sing the song. Okay, we'll sing the song and then we'll motherfucking do your shit. You don't run shit. Oh, look at you. Go All pick right. some motherfucking All cotton. All right, next no. time you want this swept out, I'm going to leave it fucked up like it was when I came here today. Go on. This, it needs to be swept under here now. Why I, you didn't sweep? I did that area. Sweep, motherfucker. No. Oh, you going to get it. Watch what's going to happen. No, no, no. Watch. Somebody say, sweet daddy, will you? Watch. No, okay. Speak on Terry Crews and, mm-hmm. speak on Terry Crews and Tariq. What happened? Terry Crews been telling niggas well, he'll slap the, the loose, shit out of him. Out of who? Tariq? He, he, who was Tariq? Tariq... I don't know about Tariq, but he told D.L. Hughley, you keep talking that shit, I slap the shit out of you. 50 Cent, I slap the shit out of you. I beat both you niggas' ass. But why you talking shit only to niggas, and but ain't saying nothing about slapping the shit out the motherfucker who grabbed your nuts? Because you're trying to get that paper, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, come on, Terry. Right, Chris? Terry, there we know you strong to the motherfucker, nigga, but motherfuckers out here got them goddammit, nigga. <laughs> Stop it, nigga. <laughs> nigga, ain't no motherfucker for the fight you, Terry. Ain't no motherfucker gonna fight you, Hell Terry no. Crews, strong for real, nigga. That's a big ass nigga, man. Terry, don't run up on them niggas out here, man. Them niggas gonna be like, 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 like. <laughs> paka, paka, paka. You're gonna be like, you could have grabbed my dick, nigga. <laughs> 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 nah. Terry, stop talking about slapping the shit out of these motherfucking niggas. These niggas <laughs> out here be on a mission. You will catch it for all the shit these <laughs> niggas did back in the day to them. Yeah, they, you yeah. too big. Ain't nobody gonna fight you, Terry. You won't get a fair fight out here. But next time a nigga grab your dick in front of your wife, you got to super suck that motherfucker. Man. You got to, Terry. You got to. <laughs> I agree. You got to super suck him. I definitely agree. You think he should have spoke on it or kept it, kept it on I the right? I ain't telling you. I made this one. I can make some, I guess. Terry I on the one. hustle side of the game. That's, That's why he right. ain't checked the white boy who grabbed his nuts and shit. Right. He got some real paper though out the game. Exactly, huh? that was my loose talk, but that's okay, Ricky. Oh, that really? was your that was your. Sh- you oh. wouldn't know. I don't know. Y'all just kept going. Well, you the one talking about you want to do the shit after the break. God damn it! Like no, you want some shit. Shut the said, fuck up. Oh, oh, oh! Watch what's gonna happen. Oh, I don't even speak on it. Some shit's just gonna happen. Watch. What? That's just what Why I. Why you wishing oh. bad shit on the nigga? Don't have to wish. I'm about to do. Damn it! Come get this motherfucker. I'm about to do. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> so we got, we, we gonna do your I shit? Guess, I guess I don't know. You were just yeah, I don't good. know. Y'all, y'all, y'all still the show on that slow y'all shit. Y'all still rambling. <laughs> what you gentlemen. done? You the super sock the gay agent nigga on the spot, or you would have tried to get some paper out that? Man, without question, dog. You grabbed my nuts. He already did. That's what I'm saying. I was just, he a did. To grab my nut. He sued. You no, know, he won. Yes, yeah, undisclosed money. He won something. He got something from homeboy. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, I'm all right. I'm just saying. What are we going to do? Oh, I was reading some shit I saw up there. <laughs> I ain't going to even say it. Fuck you, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, let's go on here and take a break. We'll come back after the break. And uh, this is going to be a show where we do these lose, talk about bullshit at the bullshit end. Hell, yeah. 51, motherfucker. 50, we shall return, motherfucker. <laughs>
nigga Bodie on the track, go! My nigga Bodie on the track, go!
my nigga Bodie on the track. Go. My nigga Bodie on the track, go!
my nigga Bodie on the track. Go. We back. Like we Bert back. We back. We back. We back. Pa 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 pa. Yeah, nigga, Christmas oh. carols, nigga. You, dig. you know what I'm saying? You feel me? First of all, this is gonna be the first song with MC Darlene. Darlene. <laughs> gonna crack here. On this little smooth beat. <laughs> well, though. <Shit> <laughs> it's popping, niggas. Oh, I can barely hear it. That's right, we gotta have on the motherfucking shit. I forgot about this. I can barely hear it. 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 I'm just being me. Nigga, I'm just being me. I'm just being me. This is how I go in my life, y'all. They hate me cause I rock the stage. When I'm just being me. They really wanna take my place. When I'm just being me. Instead of giving me my prize. Nigga, I'm just being me. You envy my spot at the time. When I'm just being me. Last 
time I'ma say something Shut up bitch You ain't that type of nigga on my level You the type of nigga Who tries to rebel But never admitting you are wrong A nigga Corey hoping what I do is real strong Came from the bottom all the way to the top Now wipe your little suburban ass nose full of snot They hate me cause I rock the stage Niggas, when I'm just being me They really wanna take my place When I'm just being me Yo, instead of giving me my prize Cause I'm just being me You envy my spot at the time Tell us about it, Craig, what? I'm talking to the people and they liking what I'm doing No squandered moments, gotta keep myself from room Bitch niggas hate, momentary, momentary hate, nigga get up out my plate Mad cause I'm pushing weight on that stage with them bitches And I'm going backstage trying to get these bitches stitches Get them stitches And they pussy hoes cause my dick is swole And that hating ass nigga man, he gon' have to go Cause they hate me cause I rock the stage yeah, nigga, but I'm just being me They really wanna take my Please. Cause I'm just being me Instead of giving me my pride They envy my spot at the top Tell them about it, D, tell them about it, y'all Look at you yelling at me Too late for apologies Go puff on a pile of weed uh, uh. And you tra- chat roommates need to get a life Go on and find a wife Get the fuck out my face Before I go and find a knife mm. Oh mm. Yeah <laughs> I'm just being me I'm she gonna be trying to get knife. my knife right. She gon' cut your wife hey. Put this real steel all up in your life <laughs> huh. Cause I rock the stage Yeah, nigga, cause I'm just being me They really wanna take my place I'm just being Instead of giving me my props Cause I'm just being me yeah. You envy my spot in the time Check it, check uh. it See, Hokum from the shy That ain't no lie uh. Shut the fuck up, you a bald-headed guy You can't do the shit I do up on the mic Cause you ain't talking about shit real niggas like uh. You a suburban nigga, you know that that's the truth Motherfucker, you need to get in the booth And go back to Gucci D Cause you can't be me I'm the king of this motherfucker called my free nigga I'm just being me Uh, I'm just being, being me. me I'm just being me And she just being D And he just being corn Craig, facts are whack Oh, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Get your answer, stupid smack, nigga. I slap a nigga fast if he don't know his place. Hit him in his face, guess I really won the race. A lot of niggas hate me, but won't say it quick. Cause when I pull out that clip, most of these niggas gon' split. And I swear to God, no, I swear to your mama, that I really love the drama. When I pull out that llama, and my nigga Corey hate it cause I got more swag than him. Cause when the bitches come around, they be like, I wanna fuck with Craig. Our Kelly's <laughs> at a grammar school. Yeah, and he's fucking with your kids. Watching young bitches drool. And he's just being him. Terry Crews now he's ready to fight. All the mother niggas. Cause a white boy saw his dick and swine. Fight the white boy, Terry. Oh, the white boy, oh. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> that is what, what the DL said. Oh, <laughs> oh. It was a bit to it. All right, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, garbage as a motherfucker today.
You what? I was garbage as a motherfucker today. You so were garbage. You just being you, nigga. <laughs> that fuck you, nigga. <laughs> You don't get the fuck D, out you of almost you. finished I the rap. I almost did, damn it. You got to start rapping more, D. I talk did. about your pain. You was checking <laughs> them chat room, motherfucker. I did. Yeah, nigga. Corey dressed like an inside out primo, nigga, with the blood. <laughs> <laughs> the dope on the outside of the blood ass outfit, nigga. I was all concerned. I was like, let me get the prop because I wanted to open it up when I had You wanted to open up the knife, but I you did. froze. Yeah. No, I wanted Because you ain't used to do it every week. You got to do this shit every week. You me. never saw crack back in the day? Because that's like a crack side outfit, oh, nigga. God. That's what really- <laughs> you buy your first bird in that outfit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to meet the Colombians in that fit, nigga. That's that Pablo Escobar. Fit, this that nigga. motherfucking outfit Nino had on when he cut that nigga ponytail off. <laughs> New Jack City. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. He had a dress suit on. Hell yeah, that shit funny. Cook as that. oddly as it may seem, this is a part of the show that normally comes before the break, but this time we was like, fuck that shit, and we tried it. This is D's loose talk, talk about bull. Shit. All right, so let me pass over the Terry Crews DL thing. Oh, okay, here, check this out. I don't know how many people use the FaceTime app mm-hmm. on their iPhones. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you better be aware there is a new bug, and it was just discovered, so be careful because they have not fixed it yet. They claim maybe by the end of this week. It lets you eavesdrop on the person you're calling before they actually pick it up, and even if they don't answer it, so before you freak out, though, it appears that it only happens when using group chat FaceTime. So let's just say you got on your phone, you're about to add Corey, and you called Corey. You can actually see, while Corey's phone is ringing, once you open up FaceTime chat with a group, you can see and hear what he's doing. Fed and, and, he, and he'd have to boy. decline the call. He'd have to decline the call for it to disappear. If you go online right now, you can see the, the guy who discovered it first, the bug. Have you have a group face chat? Never. Hell no. no. Do anybody know how to do it? I don't. I've never used it. Remember we spoke about it? They just You got an it. iPhone? It's a yeah. new one. You got an iPhone? I do. Frank, you got an iPhone? Yep. Can we group face chat right and if now? You gr- and if you group face chat but before there. the person answers it, you can hear and see Let's them see. before it. Jake That's see phone it. age. There's a, like there's a, a video mom. online right now where the guy showed it's got over uh, probably. Can, can you I, call me, Frank? Three million views. Turn my shit on. <laughs> <laughs> to play it safe, slick, uh, to play huh? it safe <laughs> <laughs> iPhone says they suggest you disable FaceTime for now. I don't never FaceTime. No, we want the, we want the smoke. It go Frank calling me now. My, so, I'm turning mine on. There go Frank, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, did, he fa- did he group? He just oh, FaceTime me. Now, how do you group FaceTime? See, now if you Hold add, on, let me press something. It says effects, mute, flip. What's this button? And you're complete. I, it says I took a photo. I got a picture of Frank's face. Frank, you ain't that handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you found it? See, somebody said you don't even have to do group chat. That my cousin did it to me. It's all on the internet right now. Everybody was freaking out. You found wow. a way to add Darlene? Yeah. Let's see how this shit works. Add a nigga like me. We man. gonna put you on in a minute. Let's see if let's see if this shit work. D, you ain't that shit cut off, Frank. I have you here as waiting. I have you here. Uh oh. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. Can you see what I'm doing? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be ringing. Like, let's just say he's trying to add me. D, we don't believe your story. But Craig listen, calling me can, now. You can go Hold online on. and watch the Put video. Put your face on there, Craig. What's we up, got man? Craig on this motherfucker. What's popping? Now, how I do the shit y'all talking about? The group one. Yeah, see, you swipe, were supposed to start it with him. Swipe us from the bottom, and you'll see add a person. Add a person? Add a person. Where? I don't see add a person. Swipe, swipe from the bottom up. Up. The whole thing. The whole thing. I did. Oh. Oh, my God. My this shit, shit ain't working. Mm. My shit doing this. Hold on, it go. It, I went back to you, Craig. Right, let me see, see something. Swipe. I sway from the bottom up. It hold oh on. my god, hold they on. sound I'm, like I'm, a mess. Hold on, one second. I'm gonna try to call Frank, Facetime while I'm on with this motherfucker. Oh, you just cut me out. I cut you off. See? This no. bullshit. Fuck you, Apple. This shit don't work. No, no, no. It's not. You're not trying to make it happen. They're just saying that it happens. With a lot of people, and if you go on, get the fuck out of it. It's a defect. No, if you go on YouTube, you can. You don't want it to work. Is what I'm saying. Corey is so crazy. I wanted it to work. I wanted to see what was going to happen. Well, it says if you go look at this guy's video, you can see the demonstration. So So if I call you Facetime, group time, I might see what you're doing. It said the majority of people. (laughs) No, the majority of people that were complaining (laughs) said that they happened to be doing it with group face FaceTime. So that's the the majority of the people that were experiencing the problem. 
were a group. So. Who say who got the pink phone? Craig, you ain't got no pink phone, do you? No, no this red like a mom. Man, that phone looked, pink, dog. Fuck out of here. This red blood <laughs> pink, dog. <laughs> I think <laughs> okay, anyway, Craig with that moist ass phone. <laughs> I'm glad you came today, uh, Craig. So in it, this looks like, it looks like they outfit. have. I think I sent you a picture, Frank. It what looks it like be? they have a suspect in the regards to the woman that had the baby. Oh yeah, in that nursing home, and she was not in a coma. They want to get that straight. At first, so she felt the dick. No, at first, all the reports <laughs> were um, say, saying that she was in a coma, but she has significant intellectual disabilities. So she's almost like in a vegetative state, but it's not like a coma where she can't, she actually can know when like family or people are visiting her. So like she'd be like, give it to me. After the DNA. <laughs> give it to me. After taking all the DNA from all the male staff, they arrested Nathaniel Sutherland, Nathan supposedly, Sutherland. and his wife had already filed for divorce before they arrested him. So either she found out or he told her, I don't know. Anyway, that nigga's been fucking snorthy. He's out on bail. There he is. He's out on snorthy bail. Snorthy Dandridge. He's from California? <laughs> no, he's from out there, from Arizona. That's what they were, the, the, the place was. And, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, now been. he's out on bail. He has to wear ankle bracelet until, the, until they go to court. You know, some people he went to high school with were speaking up on that. They said that nigga fucked the whole slumber party and nobody knew it. <laughs> that nigga's a sleep fucker. That nigga fuck slumber. Oh, that nigga is the sleeper hey, fucker. Hell yeah, yeah, nigga. Anyway. Hell yeah, yeah, nigga. That Moving nigga. on. Oh, fuck you, snoring. <laughs> so just another cute thing. Uh, in case anybody is into pets and you have a dog and you're tired of either coming home to a mess or say you can't make it home in time to take the pup out for his walk. <laughs> now, not only cats have... Hold on, darling. Dogs, that nigga put the roofie in a visine bottle and killed his left eyelid. That motherfucker <laughs> dead, man. That's no, that's a, he got a roofie that in that eyelid. Taking both Dayquil and Nyquil at the yeah. same time. Oh, really? <laughs> that nigga's a roofie chef. That nigga got a whole room. Taking both Quill. He put both of them. That nigga got a whole room in his house dedicated to roofie juice, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the dogs. If you have a dog, there's a new, um, there's a first type of toilet. So, you know, cats have litter boxes. Well, this is for a dog. It's called a smart indoor dog toilet. It lets your dog relieve themselves in a in a mess-free toilet that cleans itself. It costs $1,200. It omits a fragrance when the dog steps off. After each use, it also gives the dog a treat, whatever you place inside the machine. The door closes. Did that shit say $11,800? Where? Yeah. Did oh, yes. Yes. Yens. They're, they're from overseas. <laughs> that nigga Cor- what that mean? That nigga Cor- is going to buy a whole closet Ooh. of cocaine fish with that 11000 <laughs> Nice. 350 oh US dollars? Well, get that nigga name and shot him that? out. That we got see excited, it. boy. Where, what part? Is that from Africa or something? He's using chat conversion. Japan? Yeah. And the course. Wow. That nigga in the military. That's it. Look at that. That's, you know I mean, we're going to have to get his name. So they got a place where dogs can piss in the crib? Well, no, if you buy it, it's $1,200. Like I said, it emits a fragrance when the dog steps off after he chews. Then it flips up. It gives him a treat. The door flips up, and the waist slides off into some sand that kills the scent and also bags it up. It's the world's first God automatic damn. dog toilet. It's called the Inubox. But it only accommodates dogs up to 70 pounds. So I don't believe that shit works. stole that name. It was 100 pounds, so I couldn't, it couldn't yeah. work for him. I don't believe that shit work. It's ain't no dog finna huh? shit on nothing that ain't grass. What, Frank? Uh, how much was it? $107. $107 US? Yeah. Get that puss ass that? shit out of here. No, I'm You're fucking so with stupid. you. Good looking <laughs> out, my nigga. Nick Corey got happy when he seen that apostrophe after that 11, 11 <laughs> yeah, stacks. Yeah, yeah, that nigga finna go buy another bike. That nigga finna. That nigga got happy in the bicycle. Hell yeah. Anyway, yeah, I don't want to take it from him. I gave Greg time. a scooter and somebody stole it from him. Stole it off my front yard. No, they didn't take it from me, nigga. Tell the truth, Greg. You ain't got a lot, nigga. You like that now. Right, somebody dog walking. Damn it. It was locked up on my patio, nigga. Now I was driving and somebody socked me off of it and took it, bitch. I don't want to take too much of When I find you. Huh? I know we extended already. Hit that already nigga with a dog pot. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to end it on a, well, it's a sad note. But anyway, Who? rest in peace to James Ingram, of course. He Who? passed away the earlier singer? today. Yes, a brain cancer. He is survived by his wife, Deborah. What are you saying? Oh, my God. James Ingram? Well, that nigga had a voice. A lot of hits, too. And he wrote a lot. Give me one that he, I should know as a 36-year-old. Secret Garden. Secret Garden. He wrote a lot of songs. He was that, that nigga. Album. Oh, that's <laughs> uh-huh. And he wrote a pretty young thing, Michael Jackson. I can and make it come life. alive. Rest oh, in peace, brother. The only nah. reason he has credit on the Good Life by Kanye is because they used his their song. So he wrote it, but he gets credit because they used so much of it 
that he's actually, if you look up Kanye's album on the Good Life song, it's James Ingram gets writer's credit because they used Did you hear him on We Are The World? He killed it. He was on We Are The World. He wrote, what? He wrote a lot of songs for my, um, um, Michael, Michael uh, what's his name? Jackson? Uh-huh. And that What is that? Um, um, Y'all Mo Be There. That one that he wrote. So he's on Mike McDonald. Mm -hmm. I heard of him. I just heard of Y'all Mo Be There. Okay, I know that song. I'm going to be there. Pop a cherry. I'm going to be there. The big thing about him is he was always with his wife. I mean, they were together 44 years. They have six children. They were always together. So happy. He killed Secret Garden. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah, he did. So rest in peace. Life short, man. It is. It is. I know these motherfuckers going to be talking shit when I check out this bitch, but I don't give a fuck. I act a fool while I was here. Motherfucker, have an open mic at my funeral. I don't give a fuck. Let all them hater niggas go up and talk shit about me. I don't yeah, give a yeah. fuck. Nigga. If you wear that outfit, I'm going to pour cranberry juice into the casket, yeah. nigga. Just Actually, <laughs> Craig like my sexy ass sweater. <laughs> I think I'm so. Fucking with you. I think so. You keep eyeballing that mic on it. Huh? I ain't never seen that much white on a dark nigga before. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Motherfucker, you ain't never seen motherfucking <laughs> went to a Jamaican linen party. Oh no, nah, oh, but I didn't. All nah. white parties. You never went to any of the, No. No, but that's terry cloth. That ain't. Every <laughs> time you put on that motherfucker skull cap, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Every time you take it off, it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, nigga. It's all good. It's all What's great no, drinking? Man. I don't know. But rest it's, in peace, James Ingram. I know, Brain, rest can in peace, Brain James. cancer. That's crazy, Brain man. Brain cancer is terrible. It affects your nerves and everything. So he looked young. How old was he? Seventy. Uh, Sixty-six, I believe. <laughs> My say I look like a cigarette. Tony Taylor, 66, fuck the dude. Yes. Zigzag. What, what is it you're drinking, Craig? They want to know. Is it that? What is that? Somebody oh, say I got my oh, Beat Street rock. This is, this is, this yeah, is bourbon. bourbon. I see. Uh, it's bourbon. A oh lot, my god. Where you get that from? Man, I got it from the grocery store. Uh -uh. You actually bought that shit? I did, man. I bought it weeks ago. You a bourbon drinking motherfucker? Yeah, nigga, oh I god, smoke cigars sometimes and drink bourbon and Oof. shit. Good. I can't drink Hennessy no more. That shit give me a headache. Hennessy ain't that ain't the shit though. It's other nah, shit. Hen yeah. is what you drink when you're young and broke and you trying to get fucked up. Yeah, when you are trying to look like mm. you're doing something. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Somebody said I look like a big napkin, no. Nope. Corey Modi, no. Nope. <laughs> that nigga said oh. a big napkin. Oh, bird game thing. Hell that's yeah, sweet. nigga. No, nah, man, that's fucked up about James Ingram, man. Yeah, he was young. Very young. How old was he? Sixty six. Brain cancer? What what motherfuckers get brain cancer from? Yeah, well, phones. they say a lot of times people are saying nowadays that it's all from all the technology. Well, not not him per se, but just people in general, because all that all that radiation from phones and stuff like that. Life know. ain't fair. Life no, too quick, not. man. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself while you're here, man. I'm about to start over right now and motherfucking get my network up. It's gonna be on this. It's gonna be on this thing called iStar. I'm gonna have a commercial running before the next 5150 show. Good. I'm gonna try to show y'all what I'm trying to do. I will not give my time and energy to another one of these fake ass motherfucking social media platforms that's mad because I got something to say. I will not do it again. Fuck Twitter, fuck Facebook, fuck everybody that motherfucking tell niggas you Thanks, can't say Ron. what the fuck you wanna say. Yeah, right. yeah. So I hope y'all fuck with me and I hope y'all subscribe because I really want to motherfucker do some some big shit where them people can come after me for it and I don't give a fuck. Corey Pendergrass. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Teddy P. <laughs> Teddy P was cold. Man, that nigga. Turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. His other songs the motherfuckers be sleep on and shit. Uh, what's that one song? Uh, uh, which one with the, with the Patty Austin? Which he one is that, dude? Oh God! What's that duet one? It's one of the most famous ones too, like his biggest one. I know this one. I like it. Be like, and it don't hurt Ooh. now. Oh. <laughs> no, not now. Teddy P had some cuts. He was a monster. Don't oh, that's the one he did with now. what's her name with the Patty Austin. No, um, not now. Baby, come to me. There'll be know? no more sleepless nights, no more heartaches, and no more fights. And it don't hurt now. No, not now. Nigga, <laughs> that nigga hey, Teddy P. Oh, yeah. that, that nigga's a monster, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm going to put that shit on when I get my car. He might nigga. be the GOAT. Who the GOAT? You talking about just pure voice? -wise? I'm talking about on the R&B side of the game. Nah. Who the GOAT? Oh, the GOAT is Smokey Robinson. 
Who there? Ain't right. nobody yeah. fucking with smoke. It's niggas with better voices. Ain't nobody fucking with smoke. No, 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 no. No, them niggas used to go at it. I'm it's talking about Smokey Raw. Teddy P got a better voice. But Smokey, the he whole package. Smokey got that light skin shit going. No, nigga, he just just to see her. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, but on the production I side, I would do anything. He smiled while he said, yeah, yes, "That's he what does. gets I you." I would go anywhere. Man, <laughs> there's nothing I, I wouldn't do. Smokey, a monster. But on the production side, Gambling Huff was monstrous. Who was Gambling Huff? They made uh, they made Backstabber. They made a lot of oh, the OJ yeah, old, shit. Yeah, that's they, they they was them and Curtis Mayfield. They kind of came with that that gritty gangster type sound. You know what I mean? The Spinners. Yeah, man. Mm, all those old Curtis girls. Mayfield Could might be the go. Could it be oh, yeah, he, you know, but he was with your baby. baby. Huh? He was too heavy for folks. So he yeah. spoke too much conscience. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis Mayfield Curtis might Mayfield. be the go. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah he, Talk about on the old school side. On the old school no, side that, again. Uh, uh, um, he had James had just once. Remember, just once. Oh, that was a cut. Yeah, oh, hmm. so you don't even know the, you don't know the words of the song. I can sing it if it started playing. Though. I'll sing the whole song. <laughs> I don't know. That's how it is with me. Uh-huh. Just once. We don't know the rest, but we remember just one. Oh, yeah, I, know that song, I did yeah. my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. How did he? How did the head of the the uh, like the, the <coughs> syncopation go? How did the tempo go? I gotta hear it. Just one. Somebody said I got on a Sean White game outfit. It's in my head. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's funny. Who did Bobby that? Bobby Womack was a monster, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That nigga, that song, If You Think You Lonely Not, nah, dog. It wasn't no well, shit. Everybody knows that. He started yeah. checking through that yeah. shit. He, he was one of the first niggas. Don't always checking. talk about the <laughs> shit I ain't got. Man, he was checking them bras, man. Yeah. Can't be two places at one <laughs> time. <laughs> if you think that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that nigga. You think you're hungry now. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wait yeah, until I get ghost. Luther, no Luther, Luther had the Luther best voice. Luther was singing the niggas. I don't want to yeah, hear. Oh, I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> say. Luther <laughs> Vandross is in Any heaven trying songs. to get Jesus back with us. I want to tell you, baby. Okay. Yeah. But he got cold. He got one of the coldest voices. Oh, but he's not the total package, I've though. Been going through. No choreography. Doesn't matter how, the, how missing long can you, they perform? You missing you. Perform. How long can they perform? Luther's voice is crazy. <laughs> he make you emotional. It make you emotional. Nah, nigga. He used to cry at that nigga yeah, concert. About, he got dressed listening to Luther. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about people, how about people that are pure talent. They got they pictures can, of Greg when he was young standing up at the concert. <laughs> Give me no reason to want no, you the people got. that can sing <laughs> and write and produce for Luther, come people. down, that's walk me. Well, per, the yeah, baby face. Yeah. All that sing, write, and perform. That's baby face. That's why I s- baby face stole everybody's shit. Fuck shit. that. Nigga. If he, if he, when you go to his concerts, he can go into TLC. All the couldn't even have show. a concert. They got yeah. to get Talking cremated because of no, baby face. That's not baby face. <laughs> what about your friend? <laughs> no, that was the other guy. Well, that was wife. baby face. No, the face. Not. They was the motherfuckers. On they that robbed label, them. But it wasn't. It was Pebbles. That was their man. So it was just Pebbles robbing them. Oh, Pebbles is fucked up. Baby face was just innocent. He was. I ain't got to do it. So you can't put baby face over. Over, over Smokey though that's Work all them hoes <laughs> You can't put him They're two different right? Like I said He writes for everybody So he's super Babyface is a monster He is I take R. Kelly over Babyface though oh. Yeah mm. I take R. Kelly over Babyface mm-hmm. Yeah R. Kelly a mon- You know I don't see nothing wrong with Fucking a- minors all the time Hey, but you, you, you can't be on. <laughs> that nigga R. Kelly. I ain't gonna Johnny Gill was wrong. What you been missing? In a I put him in the Luther category, voice wise, but Ooh, all yeah. around talent, Johnny ain't got it. But voice wise, the nigga was a motherfucking monster. Yeah, come yeah. On. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because no effort. It would just he would just open his mouth and just. Yeah. Come no, out. he had a voice, man. Yeah, this shit was me. like motherfucker. But y'all, so y'all say uh, Teddy Pendergrass ain't the goat. Mm. Voice wise, he might be the <laughs> goat, but the whole package. You got to give credit to them niggas that could make a sit sound. your ass down in this <laughs> hot ass oil, baby. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Teddy P, nigga. Yeah, that's Teddy P. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm a big BB King up. fan, mm. though. I fuck with BB King. A fat nigga with a guitar. Oh man. <laughs> BB King. Hey, I want to fuck a bitch. But I got to pay for it in my prime. BB King said, Bitch, don't let a soul in my house when I ain't home. You ever heard that song? No. no. One of the coldest songs ever. 
Don't let a soul in my house. Don't let it. So not even the doctor. He said, if you sick, bitch, suffer till you die. But don't let nobody in the house if I ain't home, bitch. That, that, that sounds abusive. Like, that like sounds like the average parent back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> don't open that door when I ain't here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck what happened. Don't open the door. No, don't open it. Basically, when you hear the song, bro, oh, that's my type of shit. Oh, nigga, B.B. King was at his time. Mm. You don't like that type of stuff, darling? It's all right. No, I'm very choose. But I, I like all kinds of music. You know what I'm saying? But the greatest of all time. That's tough. Mm. Rub me down <laughs> with some hot oil, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. He, even when he was in that wheelchair, he was murdering. <laughs> and I'll do the same. Oh, before we go, can we just say some thoughts and prayers to everybody that's dealing with that polar vortex? Hey, what is that? Everybody in Chicago, it's nigga, chill. that motherfucking huh? it's gonna 15 be below. This it's going to be history this year. It's going to be cold in the motherfucker. Don't go yeah. to the store, nigga. Get it's all your be food. Careful. They said frostbite in 10 minutes. Polar Vortex? That yeah. sounded like some, some man new name they, they came up, up with. That, Shout out motherfuckers know about motherfucking 40 below. Yeah. It's 40 uh, below. Wind chill factor. Yeah. I ain't never. Well, you ain't never felt nothing like that, thank God. No, yeah. nigga. That's that shit where you cut your car off, that motherfucker won't start. Wow. Oof, Overnight, scary. your block could freeze. Yeah, they showed pictures. It's going down right now, today. So what you do, what you just got to let your shit thaw out? Man, you motherfucking need a jump, or you got to wait, yeah. or you got to plug it up. You got to plug your car up all night. They got shit, like, and when you go places like South Dakota, they're used to that type of cold. Fargo, so they got places like that, you yeah. can plug a car up. Right. But in Chicago, yeah. niggas ain't going to plug their car up. They're going to mm-hmm. have that car on the street. They're going to get up in the morning. That motherfucker going to say... And that's it. They can get in. Damn. <laughs> what if you can't get well, in? You turn that key, that guy's like, no, man. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. dead. And here no, I nigga. One of my friends today said, did you see? I said, what? The weather. I said, oh, I know. In the Midwest. No. It's supposed to start raining tomorrow night till Monday. Raining days. where? Here. It's going to oh. rain four or five days in a row. Man, that rain ain't stopping shit. No, but I was, I was, li- I was laughing I when she said that. I want to go outside. I got, I got rain <laughs> In the rain, may sound crazy, Crazy. but I wanna go outside. Go outside. outside. That shit fire, nigga. In the rain, back on Keith Sweat was the shit. Boom, boom, boom. We singing the original one. Original one. Yeah. Right. That's the one I was talking about. Now I. That whole album was raw. Man, that Keep Sweat Don't shit. This nigga keeps saying Keep yeah. Sweat. <laughs> Wasn't that his name? That was Keep Sweat. Yeah, he, he had the song he, with the little bitch on there. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah. that no. oh, yeah. yeah. uh, Who was singing the Baby, song? Baby, he make it last forever. <laughs> bitch, make me a sweater. <laughs> a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Who sung the original We were singing earlier though What that was Oh wait a minute Now nah, I wanna go outside In the rain It might sound it crazy You know who was a sleeper though Who Hathaway Donnie Hathaway is a oh, monster yeah yeah I didn't know the songs he made Until one day I just listened to the whole album oh, or, the, or the best of Donnie Hathaway yeah. A bunch of shit I didn't know he made all that shit Yeah, yeah I gotta listen to it I know he got fire mm-hmm. I know that nigga I know he got fire And when my life is over <laughs> that sad ass song. I was like, I listened to that shit. I was like, hey, that's fucked up. <laughs> Nigga, that's talking to you. Talking to you. Somebody say the dramatics. There you go. Yeah, that yeah. was yes. Kobe and Brian right. McKnight had a dope ass song. Who? Kobe and Brian McKnight. That <laughs> shit was fire, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kobe and Beef? Nigga hey. said genuine. My genuine. pony. Nigga. Genuine has some fire, nigga. You can't sleep on Genuine, oh, nigga. That's hilarious. Really? Yeah. I, I, I got love for Genuine. Yeah, I'm just saying, we nice talking guy. about the GOAT, nigga. Yeah, we're talking well, about yeah, Somebody said Aaron good. Hall. Aaron Hall has some good songs. We're talking about singers. You know yeah, you're, you're right. You know how people go. They're singers. They're singers. They're singers. Yeah, so R. Just... Kelly, the only modern nigga that can, can make the list? Mm. Well, they really don't do a lot of good R and B now. It's just a whole bunch of motherfucking niggas with whisper voices and shit who call themselves the Weekend. You gotta put Usher shit. on the motherfucking oh, Usher, list. He killed it with his album. Usher is a legend. He was a performer nigga. too, though. He was. Performing. I was gonna say, but what Usher do on the singing side? Nigga, on the that, singing side, yeah, like, give me an example of what he sang. Yeah, it was more yeah. Of a he. That can, you remind me of a girl <laughs> that gave 
me bumps. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. That Confessions album, that nigga did that. He that didn't was... confess them herpes bumps. I don't <laughs> play that shit, nigga. Confess what it is, nigga. You was passing that package out in Atlanta, nigga. I did say Luther's. Yeah, Luther's up there. I'm telling you. That nigga, fuck, that's <laughs> fucked <laughs> up, nigga. That's passing fucked up. That UPS package, huh? You were guys, I guess you'd be talking about like your Some nigga said Frankie Beverly. Yeah. Frankie yeah. Beverly like came out with one album, didn't he? People Joe, like yeah. That. But uh, yeah, Joe, he definitely don't. Joe, Joe Pop. Even though he got a little voice, but yeah. it's pop mainly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Mar- uh, Mario Winans had that one. That album was dope, nigga. That first, uh, that joint he did. With- Y'all reaching now. You know that, right? Yeah, we reaching like <laughs> a motherfucker. <laughs> he, <said, laughs> he said Mario Winans. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said Gerald oh Avert. You can put Gerald Avert up there. You can put Alexander O'Neill up there. He has some cuts, too. I don't know if you could put Gerald on the list. Gerald Avert, Gerald Avert used to sing, nigga. Is he you a, crazy? What? He a monster. The but. OJ son, you what? He don't have enough. No, no, you talking about Gerald. We talking about the son, right? Gerald yeah, Avert. That's what I said, the OJ son. don't have son. enough hits. Like his father say, they call him the teddy bear. Right. <laughs> that nigga was dope, though. But, you know, you just said new people. You say he right. don't have enough hits. He got like four hits. <laughs> that ain't enough. We talking about greatest of all time. You said Joe Levert only got four hits. Nigga, he only got four like certified nigga. You're talking the pop. Uh, I'm hits talking about bangers, chart. nigga. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. So if I, what's the four bangers? Do you even know? Or you just talking shit? No, no. We gonna do it. We we got we got uh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know. I know. You ain't listening to no Joe Levert. Come on, man. So baby, hold on to me. Wasn't the baby? Cut. Hold he, on to me. What okay. he sucking with his dad? Was that, that, shit a cut? Was, that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Stokely. Stokely's new too. He's more current. But I'm saying, like, well, let's get this Gerald Levert because he said the man only got four no, but songs. I'm saying the newer people. I didn't say he only got four songs. Four songs. You guys can't leave Stokely out. From Mint Stokely Condition. Carmi- uh. Mint Condition. What? Mint Condition what? was wrong, but you, we talk about the greatest. <laughs> I know, but he just said newer, current oh. people. Gerald Levert had like four, maybe a possible five. I just can't think of all of them right now. But I know, nigga. I know. Early You 90s, took my early home. With all that shit to Gerald the first. <laughs> Yo, I'm talking about the latest shit. Uh, I don't know nothing. No, past. see, you're talking got about the nerve to against. take my kids. Right. Got the nerve to take my kids. You took yeah. my... Gerald the yeah. was hard, nigga. I'm not saying he wasn't hard, but... I'm just yeah. saying. He has some yeah. guts, yeah. nigga. Art Kelly and him is the same generation. He not on Art's level. I don't know, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. I bought every album R. Kelly made, man. R. Kelly, you can't take nothing away from him, man. But R. Kelly shit sound like other people's shit, just like that new motherfucker. What's the little curly head nigga? You're talking about The weekend sound like Michael No, Jackson. not The weekend. The nigga who just had that album out where it was, it was... Oh, you're talking about the nigga who, 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 who took uh, Prince and... Uh, I'm going to uh, tell you who he is. This motherfucker... The whole album was raw, he but it all did. sound like other people's shit. No, hit this, the hits sound like the time. Like, what's that group that was with Prince the Time? Uh, something in the damn. He talking about the little Filipino uh, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, yeah. Bruno. All his cuts sound like somebody else shit. He I'm sound- just saying it. I bought both his albums. Right. But they yeah. sound like, hey, yeah, hell it's yeah. Around. It's like that. Yeah. Right. Mm. He do some new edition. Uh, he do some. He. I'm yeah. like, hey. Yeah. And I got R. Kelly on that level too. That he be like, nigga, your shit sound like somebody else shit yeah. on some of these. Well, shit. He, who he take that? Oh, 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 oh! He took that from uh, that was somebody. Lenny. Else. Yeah, Lenny. Yeah, he took that from that. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> anyway, he, yeah. he used to do Aaron Hall. Really? Aaron can't stand him, right? I don't know. Yeah, That's D. Home Remember boy. they had? Yeah, they had a little. No, but it wasn't a. It wasn't like a personal thing, but people made it into something. You right. know what I'm saying? Like like fans did, because they were like, uh oh, wait a second. Remember when R. Kelly first came out? Yeah. They used to always say that they yeah. were like, Hey, hold on. There's something like wrong <laughs> with me. <laughs> Every time I straight fuck you wrong, it burns when I, I pee. Oh, babe. <laughs> That's one of the greatest niggas too. <laughs> that that nigga was raw, nigga. I've had my share of love, <laughs> some of them damn good. Now I've had my share of love, <laughs> some of them damn good. <laughs> and if you think you can turn me on, maybe my feet hard as wood. Oh, you just can't. Telling me this and telling me that. that nigga was old when he dropped that. That shit right. fire though, nigga. Right. He was probably seventy when he dropped that, nigga. I'm here, baby. <laughs> 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 he 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the deepest harmonized voice. Oh yeah, by far. Anyway, fuck. all right. And so, yeah, he a legend too. L.A. legend. You know, I don't know if we motherfucking squashed all the bullshit that needs to be so. squashed. You ain't got no comedy beef. You got something to say something about that? Nah, <laughs> nah I mean, this is a nigga that I'm going to check when I see him. But oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to keep that under wraps until... Uh, Do you got any taco beefs you want to talk about? <laughs> People have beefs with me. I don't have beefs with them, so... Oh, I hear you. Yeah. That's the way to, way to yeah. come back. Frank, What's up? you and Jennifer got any beefs you want to talk about on there while she's not here? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Probably, but I don't think we have enough time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tell Jennifer. I hope y'all make it. <laughs> Me too. I got a birthday coming up. I'm excited. Someone. Darlene's birthday. When is your birthday? February 26th. You gonna do oh, something big? Mine is the fourth. No, I don't. I your don't birthday do on a Tuesday? Yep. My birthday. My, oh, you're, no, you're not Aquarius. Your birthday so on the fourth for what? February. You bullshit. Hell yeah. What Wait, day of the what? week is that? I don't even know what day it is. What, what is it? <laughs> February 4th. Their that's birthday like coming week. up. What do you next, mean that's like right. next week? Yeah, I don't be celebrating what? that shit. Me either. Though. Not like big parties. I already Man, did that. we finna get you a motherfucking uh, a sure. cake. Oof. We gonna Oof. get you a cake. What day of the week is the 4th? D, what day of the week is the 4th? Uh, Monday. Next Monday. So on Monday. Tuesday when you get in, we gonna have a cake All with, right. the, with yeah. the neck roll in the <laughs> back. <That's laughs> the we gonna have a full, yeah, full yeah. roll up cake for your ass, <laughs> Hell yeah, uh, let's do it, nigga. Yay. February 4th. How old are you going to be, D? 52 with a bullet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they used to say that when you're young. I'm 16 yeah. with a bullet. With a bullet. What, the, what that mean with a bullet? Oh. You never heard that song? No, I heard a bullet, um, but I never knew what that meant with the birthday situation. Yeah. I'll be 37, nigga. That's old, man. Nigga, that ain't shit. That ain't I wish I was 37 boy, again, boy. No, It'll be don't. over, nigga. Oh, God, Real? I, I won't be 37 with the same knowledge I got now. Oh, man. <laughs> Think I'm what D cake going to be? Your cake going to be the neck roll-up cake. What <laughs> D cake? A cricket cake? No. I don't even want a cake. I just want something that you could blow the candle out on. You want to blow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be for the ladies. Maybe I should have ladies. a stripper come up here. Ooh. You think a that stripper? D want a stripper for real? God damn it! Oh, D, you gotta man. have your own. T- a we, man, we, 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 we never here. do anything for the ladies. Goodness sake! Because it's a the fifty one fifty show. So there's females that watch it. Oh my goodness! I don't think women really get off on strippers though. It's like we D do. do. No, because it's interesting. No, I don't like, let D fool you. We no, fuck strippers. Y'all yeah. don't really be. I don't know. Do you, be what, well, D, you think D ain't never fucked a stripper? <laughs> never. No, I have never. You never fucked a stripper. No, but I'm not gonna say in my family who did while I watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh wow! Oh, they were here no I'm more. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's gonna get too deep. Yeah, that was many years ago though, but it was pretty interesting. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I've been there, done that. So, no, I didn't, but I watched. Any stripper that ain't fucking for money is a failure. Well, well it's a dude. Sh- not was a woman. It was. Oh, a woman. okay. They, they fucked the dudes. We're talking men. They fucked the dudes. No, I did not. Swear to God. I remember when we was when we was when we was young. We used to go to this club. Back mm-hmm. in the day, and the male strippers, even though the bitches knew they was gay, they still was fucking all the hoes. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Even though they knew them niggas was faggots like a motherfucker. Hell yeah. And we ain't mad at them because we, we used to be cool with them niggas, but they was faggots. <laughs> ain't everybody knew it. Them niggas be at the court hooping and shit. Ain't nobody <laughs> want they sweat on them niggas. Hey, man, I quit. Somebody get my spot, nigga. This, Hell yeah, this nigga been on the block six right, games. He ain't right. moved. Dookie in the booty head, nigga. <laughs> I do. There's nothing wrong with watching. It's all right. Hey, so check it out. All you people out there who uh, already retweeted this shit I said about them niggas, I appreciate that. I want them to know what I said. I ain't trying to hide because it needed to be said to all of the people who still going to fuck tonight before they go to bed. You are a G for that. What time is it? Game time. In the East Coast, though, it's after. What time is it? I'm you on the East Coast and you fucking after this. Ooh. You's a motherfucking wow. real. Wow. You the realest, nigga. Yeah, Quinsh- yeah. Crenshaw Choir outfit. Fuck y'all, nigga. My shirt live. Anyway, eh. we up out this bitch. We out of 5150 show. Peace. Yeah. One love.